Hello, welcome back. We're back. So we're live, filmed in front of a, a live oh, thank you, thank you. studio yeah, audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we are back <laughs> for part two of the Kong Rong Mega Stream. The mega three stream. Extreme parter. Stream. Yeah, but I, like, I just like the word Mega Stream. I, 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 think, like, I think it sounds fantastic. I like the word Extreme Stream. <laughs> Sorry, brand. <laughs> 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 All right, so we're back for part two of our Extreme Unit Sizes Let's Play. Damn, Kong Rong. You're going to have to hit me with a previously for this one. Yeah, there's a <laughs> lot of stuff going on, let me tell you. Um, but let's, you know, let's just invite everyone back into the room. You know, how are you doing? It's been a, it's been a long week of uh, stuff happening. Uh, perhaps you'd like to, to take a moment, just sit right there and... We'll tell you all about how we became the second marquee of Bay High. Quick realization. Uh, we did do a charity stream on Friday, and I still have the Gamers for Orcas Twitch chat up, which is why, Fantastic. why I'm not <laughs> seeing any chat right now. Well, you so. know what, guys? Give some money to those Orcas, because for the Orcas, you know? <laughs> that was really <laughs> convincing, man. Anyway, aren't we supposed to be playing a game right now? Yeah, I believe it's we are. It's Total War Three Kingdoms. It's Total War Three Kingdoms, and we're back to have a look at our campaign. So, as I said, we're playing as Kong Rong, uh, and this is as much for your benefit, guys. So make sure you're make sure you're paying attention here, my friend. Yeah, I'm trying to multitask, but you so let, know I'm not good at that. Yeah, <laughs> you're really awful at it. So let's go up to the old uh, diplomatic status view, and you can see that uh, one of the the key defining points was the mega coalition forming right on the east coast. Would you call it an extreme coalition? I, I would. It's <laughs> incredibly extreme. In fact, it's so extreme that about 70 people uh, try and join it every turn because Lu Bay <laughs> is just sending out invites. It's like, what up? We're three cool dudes who and live in a party one. mansion. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like me and you, mate. I know, right? Apart from there's only two of us. Exactly. Well, those two are there as well, so it's fine. Um, <laughs> we've got a crack team on this stream. Uh, so <laughs> here's the huge coalition. We've got Cao Cao, we've got Liu Bei, Liu Dai is there as well. Uh, we've is, also that, got, is that the right pronunciation? Uh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> we've also got Wang Quang over here, who's up in uh, in sort of Yuran uh, Shao's sorry, territory. There's loads of stuff happening. Uh, but the main thing that we're worried about is that Yuran Shao is actually at war with us. He's got a two-stack no. army over here. Impossible. Just chilling. Impossible. <laughs> uh, just chilling. You can see that at least one of them is in Force March. So they're on their way somewhere. Um, and most likely to try and defend Yi. Because we have moved on over to the uh, to the capital city of Yuan Shao's empire. Which okay. he has left foolishly undefended. He went on a, a huge military campaign over here. Taking Lo Yang. Taking Ying Chiran. He's got loads of new territory which he's trying to uh, trying to take over. And essentially, essentially, we're going to use that as, a, as an exploitable part to come in from the back and steal all of the territory. That sounds devious, man. Yeah. And uh, we've already got our siege set up. All we could just kick then. this off straight away. Because um, even though we haven't built this yet, it's saying Pyrrhic Victory, but I'm, I'm guessing that's just because we don't have our uh, equipment built. But as I said... We've got our trebuchets. Now, one thing that we should point out for everyone watching, um, and I've just noticed the little post-it note that we put down for ourselves last time. Yeah. There was a bug in the last stream, which was causing a huge AOE on catapult attacks. Is it in this one, Wheels? It's not, because oh. we are on a new build, my friend. Fantastic. Uh, it's pretty hard for us as well. Probably be, uh, lots of different bugs. Yeah, exactly. Hopefully, we won't, we won't crash every five seconds <laughs> like uh, like a certain stream. But no, it's fine. We, we I did a little check this morning. It seems pretty pretty uh, pretty sturdy. Solid. Um, yeah, pretty solid build. Um, but as I said, yeah, these these trebuchets were literally hitting the wall, mm -hmm. so completely missing their target and yet still killing everything around them. Yeah, that has been nerfed. You'll auto n also notice. Sorry, auto notice. It's like my auto resolve uh, bones coming out there. Wisdom dictates oh, I just pressed the wrong button. Oh, mate. Can you... Wait. Can you get back in there? Could just load the save. Uh, you'll all... That, I think that is allowed, especially as we literally haven't made any actions yet. Yeah, I was literally just trying to show you guys some stuff. Didn't read the buttons <laughs> properly. Uh, you'll also notice that my income has just been nerfed into the ground because I think they've actually made trebuchets a lot more expensive. 280 unit upkeep. Is that the double nerf on trebuchets? Yeah, I know, right? Uh, so basically, they saw that we were having a good time with the trebuchets, and they were like, can't let that happen. Kill Wheels' <laughs> campaign, guys. Don't let him have fun ever. Uh, by the way, I think... Oh, do you know what? It's fine. We'll just, we'll just attack. I feel like I've said this before. Mm -hmm. I'm not hearing any campaign music right now, uh, but I feel like when we got into battle, there was music. Because I remember last time I was on stream with you, I told you to check this, and you were like, no, it is on. Mm -hmm. So... 
the music. Well, let's dive into the battle and see if let's it's something in the battle. battle. I've, I've just ruined all the beautiful siege escalation, probably. Uh, I don't know if that carries on if you break the siege. Oh, did you, not, back in. did you not save to come in the end? You should have done it. Chat with fire of it, right, fine. chat? I can't actually see chat. You've put it literally oh. on the other side of the screen. I'm to sorry. Me, I'm going to blame the orcas once again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I saw a few people memeing in the chat uh, about, well, green skins, just to make it clearer. Orcs, get it? Orcs? Mm -hmm. Orcas? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the Siege of E. This is a small city, actually. This is properly walled up. Um, kind of like the first siege that we did, I think. Uh, yeah, by the way, Mido, have you yeah. forgotten your responsibility? Oh. We, we just started a battle. God. <laughs> <laughs> Let's kick it off. I'm, hor I'm sorry if that was horribly loud. Yeah, uh, I don't know if the... Uh, oh, no, we've still got the escalation. Oh, that's nice. I didn't know that was a thing. It carries over. So you can see that we're, uh, we're se besieging this small city. So they've just started building walls around this thing. Literally, I think this is the first... Um, I don't know if large towns have them. I think small cities is the first one where they get these full-on uh, big fortified walls. Uh, but you can see still still relatively small, not too much land that we have to have to cover. But we, we have been besieging this place for a little while. There's buildings burning. We've got the walls cracked down. Some of the towers have been destroyed. You can see that we've set up our, uh, our camps on, on some of the exits as well to stop them trying to sally out. So, yeah, it's kicking off here. But this is just... Um, this is just like sort of light siege escalation, and for anyone who's played, I think it was Attila that it was first introduced in, um, you'll notice uh, some of the same mechanics where it's it's going to actually have some of the walls start to crumble down, open up holes. You can see some like certain buildings have been blown away and stuff like that. So lots of uh, cool stuff for that. But we've just got a nice light start. So I'm going to grab my militia over here. Let's shove them into a shield wall, and I'm noticing. That straight away. Now, for anyone who's seen me do a siege before, they know I like to destroy the walls of the trebuchets <laughs> before we go in. And that's looking like a prime target. Yeah. Nice big stretch of wall already collapsing. I think that's I think that's the way to go. Uh, Wills, I'm still not hearing any music. And I'm seeing comments in the chat about it, so I feel like we need to check. Yeah, it's classic that, that Jordan and Tom left as soon as we... No, uh, no, no, I'm hearing game sound. I'm talking about in the, in the game. Oh, you want stage. me to check over here? Is yeah. that what you're saying? Okay. Because... Music, it's off. It's off. Oh, I tell you why. I know. That's why he's mentioning it. It's because we recorded the video in here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that that's fine. Thank you, chat. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Now, that was all chat. Definitely. There's that beautiful music. I've got YouTube chat up now as well, so um, won't be reading that, but we'll just have it up scrolling by next to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. Um, all right, so let's set up our trebs back here. We've got a, a, a little contingent of cavalry. Just on the side, just in case we need it, but we probably won't. So, um, as I said, the, the garrison force here is pretty small, so I'm not too worried about this battle. Um, so let's just get all our range superiority coming in, and we'll just, we'll just wreck them, basically. Just tear them up. Ready to do it? Let's go. I'm so ready. I've been ready for about nine minutes. Oh, wow. <laughs> really, sh really shouting me out there. Um, so, <laughs> Sorry, I know the intro needs to be done, but... Yeah, yeah it's fine, it's fine. You're not a big fan of intros, are you? Or outros. So we can... Get into it. Yeah, exactly. We can see that um, because this wall's pretty low on health, it doesn't look like they want to actually put their soldiers on there. So they've come over to the right and to the left a little bit. Uh, they've got a few people defending their gates, some cav there as well. And then they've got a tiny little contingent just protecting their capture point as well. And they've set up a few barricades we as well. This is, this is going to be an Attack! issue. We've destroyed one of the walls already. And uh, we're just going to keep our targets on those. So let's get the other guy here. Let's just start firing on those. Make sure that we've got nice big openings. There we go. So one on here now, one on here. And that's a huge little gap for us. Huge little? That's a huge gap for us to exploit here. So we can just send our, um, our militia here right up the front. You can see that glorious wave of blue coming in. They've got all their shields aligned, ready to roll. And as we said, we're playing on the extreme unit size. So 240 men per unit. A lot of soldiers taking to the field. So many blokes. Seeing a few questions about Chinese VO, and I can assure you we are fast approaching the point when we are ready to show you that. Potentially, I tell you what, it's it's likely to be the next 3K stream, or the one after that. Yes. Is, 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 would you agree with that, Wills? Would anyone I'm, like to know why we haven't done it yet? <laughs> because it's quite funny. Oh, we could also announce that arrow trails have been slightly thinned 
<laughs> which I know that a lot of people were asking for. So there you go. That, that's Arrow probably... Trail's looking a lot uh, a lot thinner now. Prob or maybe the opacity's just dropped a little bit. It's one of those, yeah. but we've... Um, we've that's a feature, right? Yeah, stop the uh, the huge Arrow Trails that I know a lot of people were uh, were asking us about. Yeah, let's hear about it in the chat. Is, you, are you noticing a difference there? Do you, do you like that change? Trails look much nicer. Axel Rad said it, so I'm happy. Trails nerfed. Bam. Arrows themselves, the same. <laughs> uh, so yeah, would anyone like to know why we haven't done um, Chinese VO yet? Because it's actually quite funny. Um, because we have to fully go through everything to make sure that it's all um, working correctly, obviously. All of the, the guys in QA have been looking through for all the bugs, making sure that all the right, right yeah. lines are playing. Because every now and again, someone will speak in French. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is, we're told, that is the last remaining um, thing that people are worried so about. So many projectors. And I know you guys wouldn't really care if a little French line the came enemy out instead unit, of Chinese, please. but what we've got coward. to honor the wishes of the devs. So. <laughs> so we won't be showing it this time. Oh my god, look at the amount of projectiles we're firing. Right, let's get these boys in now. They've, they've done their shield war business. Let's get them in. So they've, they've really backed off from this wall here. They don't want anything to do with it. They're trying to make like a little choke point here. So you can see they're just blocking up with the arrow tiles there. A few cav coming in as well. So we need to be careful there because they will just get a few, um, a few good hits on us as we're charging in. Right, so going for the rear flank of this other side. Turn back, get on them. And then let's start to get our, uh, our G infantry in. In you come, boys. G warriors. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Come have a come have a oh, come have a little look. Come have a little gurney. Now, what are we doing on our traps? We've actually got loads of ammunition still. I think I might start firing on the guys who are holding the point because that's that's pretty funny. <laughs> um, I can imagine them just being like, "Look, we'll sit back, boys. Yeah, you handle the front line." And then all of a sudden, huge stones are flying at them. They think maybe they've they've picked the wrong part of the battle to get to. How you doing today, guys? How you feeling? Fantastic. Yeah, that's fantastic. Some point I had in the chat. Um, chat itself is pretty even, even cheap. Looking, uh, looking pretty normal today. Oh, fantastic. And when I say normal, I mean nice. <laughs> <laughs> when we say normal, we mean uh, whatever we deem that to be. <laughs> Not normal for you, Jim. Yeah. We have got um, spear guard here. So these guys aren't militia units. They're actually pretty beefy. You can see they're, they're kind of like their medium. Uh, medium level um, the men are out infantry, ammunition. which means that they're actually holding the line pretty well, but they're just starting to waver now, they're shaking, uh, they've got quite a, few, um, quite a few losses already, so I think we're going to get a little bit more of a, uh, an advantage soon. Let's bring in some of our reinforcements here. This is one of the problems with sieges with one of these huge armies, as we said on the, on the little battle spotlight, if you call it. When you've got these little choke points, it's difficult to maneuver so many men in. So you've got to uh, really pick your battles and make sure that you're getting into the right spots. Yeah. Um, there's a few people in the YouTube chat, and they want to see the trails off completely. And that is an option, isn't it? That is an option. So whenever you get a chance. Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't we, like it personally. We don't. We don't we Our think it makes no it much harder to play, which yeah. is why we always play with them on. But we may as well show that the option is there, right? To be fair, um, did we show it in the spotlight battle? I didn't do the final edit. No, we didn't. We didn't. No, we didn't. Okay, all right. Well, we will all do that at some point. I mean, you can literally just turn well, for a second. No, I literally, as soon as, as soon as this battle is pretty much won, mm -hmm. I'll show you what it's like. <laughs> but we're, I'm just enjoying I this big old clash of men. Look at this. It's absolute carnage! Sorry, I'm just They're having to, a Barney! I'm just trying to get on side with both the chats, and then I'm going <laughs> to pit them off against each other. <laughs> Initiate a proxy war on Cell <laughs> style. Yeah, you can tell I did that. Our men have style. no ammunition! Yeah. They cannot fire! Slight issue with the arrow trails. Uh, have run out of ammo. So we'll do that next battle. Don't worry about it. In fact, let's draw these guys back now, because they're pretty much useless. Uh, Treb's still firing. Did we actually end up hitting the other guys over here? There's a big old pile of bodies, so I'm assuming that they did their job, uh, which is all that we need to hear. Really. I think this is this is pretty much lost for these guys. They've run out of men. There it is. There's the victory. Right on time. You knew exactly when it was happening. Looking beautiful as well. I love this um, these sort of harvest colors. With the, oh, uh, is this harvest or is this autumn? I, I... Oh, should we find out? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about the fifth season. So there we go. Um, 
And people are going to want zoom ins, as as usual. I got some, I got uh, quite a few zoom ins there. But this is a pretty chill battle because we had a pretty big advantage over them. Um, someone asking Gran Admiral Thrawn, I, I'm assuming is how that's pronounced, is asking if we can just we burn down them. some buildings for the sake of it. <laughs> I'm sure we can do that. We've got our big old uh, trebuchets there we can use. This will meet our needs. All right, so we've taken Yuan Shao's capital. Where he moves that to, I'm not sure. That'll be interesting. Is that just the light, soft victory gong? It's actually really not very loud on the stream, so you might want to um, you might want to actually do that a tiny bit harder this time. It was it was you know Kong Rong, he's kind of a peaceful dude. He's kind of a Zen dude, at least in my eyes. Mm -hmm. um, don't know where we got past. Oh yeah, fantastic! I forgot about that. Little pair action. Are you gonna jump into it? Or you just want to cheers pairs for real quick. We'll, go, we'll come back to the pairs. I'll jump into that later. I, I tried <laughs> to pick one that was as ripe as possible. Um, so we have got, as we said, we have got Kong Rong's um, special building chain here, uh, which increases income from all sources when you get to um, get to the fourth rank. And if you go down the other chain, then you can just use it as a flat income as well. But it increases your population growth, which is really nice, especially when you've just taken somewhere over. Um, we've got about 300,000 there. Not bad, not bad, but I think if we're going to use this as our hub across the Yellow River, mm. then yeah, we should start start increasing them. So let's grab that. So one these as are well. the uh, exclusive Kong Rong building chain. That is correct. <sighs> Love it. And he's just trying to educate the people. He's you know? a man of culture. That's why he doesn't bang his gong at full strength. <laughs> <laughs> just a little soft gonging. Just a just a nice soft gonging. Um, now speaking of gonging and dongs, uh, I'm actually going to have a little chat with Dai here because I've got my force here led by Taisha Sir. Um, and I actually want to start heading off these two forces. So I might ask if we can sort out a little bit of um, military access. Oh, we're in the same coalition, so we don't have to worry about that. It's all good. In fact, should we have a look, should we have a little look at the, uh, the old quick deals? Because we've got two more trade agreements available to us. It doesn't look like anyone's got them available just yet. That's something we're going to have to keep an eye on. Trade is going to be our main source Whoa. of income. Oh, trade monopoly. Is that the Kong Rong? That is the Kong Rong style trade agreement. Um, so just non-aggression packs and military access we can ask for right now. But that's fine. Don't worry about it. We have got an income problem, as I said, because um, the devs have decided to just make trebuchet super expensive, uh, which is a bit of an issue. To be fair, it might have been a few other things as well. And if anyone didn't see, by the way, here he is, Sui Liu, with the, uh, the Bastion of Fire armor. And the G of the Imperial Guard, looking pretty hench. And oh, as is I that said, the stolen loot? This is the one I wanted to show you. So if you combine this with the hard and iron shell armor, yeah. you can enable shield wall, spear wall, and pike wall formations in your army, which yeah. is pretty sick. Uh, and then this one here uh, enables terror uh, on your retinue, which is awesome. So these guys are gonna gonna be dropping terror on people, pretty sick. Scary Routes stuff. engaged enemy for a short time. It's also immune to terror and scare effects itself. So that's going to be pretty scary. Um, so let's have a look at what we've got going on at home. behai has got a few upgrades here. So we need some income, basically. We've got food production on the market that's giving us income from peasantry. So let's build some government support because that's going to increase our income from peasantry. I assume all your trade slots are maxed out. We've got two more trade slots, but we don't have anyone available to trade with us right now. Because okay. all of their trade slots are maxed out. That's gotcha. one of the nice things about coming around. You can just trade for days. But <laughs> you need to, you need a partner, you know? It's not a one-man dance. It's, um, okay, it's, another it's a good analogy for life, I think. Man. So you, you know what I said about Liu Bei just inviting everyone to the coalition? <laughs> you just can't resist, can you? He cannot resist. Nobody wants this either. We're just going to acknowledge. I think that's been tweaked a little bit. Regardless of how you vote, a majority of the allies have already declined this deal. So we're just going to acknowledge the fact that Nobody's taken to it. Yuan Shao going after Ying Tran. Uh, Oof. Is that a third stack? Yellow Turban live stream? Yes, eventually. Eventually. I reckon May. Wow. That's Good awesome. prediction. <laughs> Who knows? Come back in May. You can leave if you... <laughs> Um, what else? Someone wanted to know about... In fact, it was the boy Dan Suso. Oh, yeah. He wanted to know whether your... EGX Rezd appointment was going to be streamed. Yes, on their channel though, not on ours. Okay. We might try and host. Uh, yeah, for anyone who doesn't know the news, we will be at EGX Rezd uh, next week on Thursday, and I believe at 4 p.m. GMT, I think. Uh, I'll be doing a talk with Dogbert. Uh, wait, 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 wait. They're bringing him back. 
They're bringing them back. Yeah, from the dead. <laughs> uh, we've got our top necromancers in um, <laughs> to raise them up. And I believe, I'm not sure if this is confirmed, but I think Life is coming with us as well, um, who is uh, a recent star of our Rally Point chat um, before we started streaming through K. So have a little look in the archives. Go on to Total War Live on top YouTube. Top dev. Yeah, top dev. And an all-around nice guy as well. Oh, yeah. Well, that's the main thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, right, so let's start moving towards those armies over there. So this is like sort of mountainous terrain, so it's a little bit more difficult to get through. Um, they've got like a half-strength army over here. They've taken a few losses. Then Yuan no. Xiao himself is sat in uh, in the Ying Tran. He's got a few of his unique Warriors V, and then he's also got his Defenders of Hebei as well. So he's looking a little bit hench. Might want to be careful of him. And he's also got the secret trebuchet um, alignment <laughs> army that I always <laughs> try to go for. Wait, <laughs> is, there a, is there a trebuchet-focused... Um, it's, it's a bill. It's a meta right now. It's for the strategists, right? Exactly, yeah. Um, but we're playing this Kong wrong, so we've got to use that uh, that ranged advantage. Now, I could actually just try and sweep in and kill off their farmland as well. What I really want to do, so he's he's um, moved his faction capital to Hene. What I really want to do is just leave him stranded in the central plains mm. and literally just swoop in and take all of his territory whilst he's gone. But um, I think we need to be careful because he does actually have quite a few men and we are capitulating money right now which means that we need to we need to drop some kind of wages somewhere let's have a look at our court shall we what's going on here 150 income 820 income oh because it's the general okay he's only level one though yeah i know but he's he's just he's just in our in our force mm. yeah Get rid, I reckon. well it, it depends if we can afford to do that because we need some kind of military force to look after the place. This guy over here, and he's like the main crux of that army. It's tough, man. It's tough <laughs> managing those finances. <laughs> We've all been there. Someone's also asking about spies. Oh, oh, that's yeah. a good shout. And of course, you're the trade king. I feel like you should be maybe, maybe you could be selling some gear, trading some gear. It's very um, true. Have you got excess food? Here's, here's, here's a question. Thank for you. you. Right. Let's jump into diplomacy. Yeah, we've got Gongsun San here. Well met, friend. What do you want, Gongsun? What do you want? Does he want to come to the coalition? Probably. But that's not what we're after. Just remember, you can't cage Gongsun Zan. He wants to fight. He doesn't care about being untrustworthy. We do have this forged iron scale, which is a pretty nice set of armor. Is this what you stole? Uh, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was it was the super gold rank one. Uh, we've also the got foreman. the foreman. Yeah, so we've got Geordie. So let's... All right. <laughs> And we've note. got a couple of answers as well. Little side note, Jordan Wright likes to have four yogurts for breakfast. We call him the foreman. So that's why he became the foreman. Just a Crest side. of regular payment. Let's see how much scenes. we can get out of him per turn. Oh, but do you want to get rid of that gear? It's only bronze rank. It's okay, not like okay. the best stuff in the world, you know? No biggie then. I'll pop it onto like 420. Oh, so close. Uh, 415? People asking about the it specs. Does. It's a... I don't know the exact specs. It's a good PC. Yeah. Let's face it. It's, it's probably a pretty good PC. Yeah, it's probably a top-end one. Um, minus 365. That would sort us out for 10 turns. And it's at the expense of a clay ox and some armor that we're not really using. Mm. I think that's a fair trade. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Let's do, do it. it. Let's, ba let's balance these books, seeing as the, the devs put us in a tough, sticky situation. <laughs> <laughs> was that because of the um, catapult treb? Was it catapult or treb? Treb. The Treb upkeep change in this build. I believe so, yeah. So it might nerf. I saw someone saying uh, catapults were OP even in this battle. Yeah, mm. They've been nerfed. That's why he's got no money now. They're too expensive now, you know? Um, <laughs> the, but also... <laughs> the rent of Trebs is... Yeah, I know, right? High. Mate, it, it, they've gentrified Trebs. That's <laughs> the issue. Um, so I'm going to move Kong Rong down south of this little bit of land here. All. There's two ways we can go from there. We can either move into E and take the farmland, or we can rush Hene as well. But either way, you know, we're just, we've got someone to deal with no. these two impending stacks coming after us. So uh, Taisha says already moving down. And yeah, let's leave it there. End of time. We've got a lot of lot of battles to come. Again. Tao Shang. But the, the number has changed, I believe. Oh, it's a different person. Oh, but Tao Shang doesn't actually want it. Oh no, is that our opinion of him? Uh, okay. I uh, don't think he actually wants it, but I'm just going to hit accept because it doesn't make a difference to us. We just want to have a little bit of uh, better relations with everyone else. Okay. Although Wang Quang... Is it going to piss someone else off? 
Yeah, Wang Kuang would be very unhappy with us if we accepted. And he's actually more of a threat to us than anyone else, because everyone else is pretty happy with us, to be honest. They're all in pretty good standing. I might reject just to save face with Wang Kuang. Do it, man. But we don't want... We don't want uh, so this, is, this is Kong Rong. He's smart. He's measured. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay, moving across the Yellow River here. <laughs> Interesting. We wish to show our appreciation. <laughs> no. Not acknowledging your legitimacy, your Anshu. As you wish. Get rid. Arrogant opportunist. As you wish. So, someone in asked in chat, Mido. Yeah. Someone said, we know that Wheels prefers romance, and we know that Tom prefers records. Oh, uh, yeah. What's your preference? <sighs> well, you know me. I like... I like dragons. <laughs> <laughs> and there's kind of dragons in this. You've got your pearl dragons, mm -hmm. etc. Onyx dragons. Uh, so yeah, I'm a, I'm Yellow a, dragons. I'm a kind of dragons. kind of guy. I like, thing, I I like my things refuse. as far from the uh, boring nature of reality as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a fair comment? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> right, now we're looking a little bit uh, marooned here. We've got three stacks coming toward us for Kong Wisdom Rong's one. Guy. Guy, the Warhammer guy. <laughs> I reckon we we pull back to E. Avoid diversions. Avoid diversions. Get there as it quick as possible. To Classic on events. And then get Taisha Sir on the other side of the river, because it looks like he's not bothered about all this. And actually, Cao Cao has already reclaimed Ying Taran, so he's doing he's doing some uh, doing some moves on him already. We've got a new reform available as well. So pretty heavy on the on the blue tree. Yeah, well, this is our trade tree, you know. Um. Don't spies also belong down the blue tree? Yes. Um, so cover costs for any spies, undercover network costs, for example. You got any spy plans? Well, we don't have anyone in our court who's actually willing to spy right now. We could hire someone, but we don't. We're not very um, big on cash right now. Mm. So I think what I'm going to do plus thirty percent income from commerce. Let me just have a little oh, look yeah. at my commanderies here. How much am I actually making from commerce? Oh, gross income, net income. They've moved this around, haven't they? <laughs> it is really confusing when you've. Got become really used to the UI being one way, and then all of a sudden something moves. Yeah, they're like and you're alive on figuring things out a little bit, you know. So we're making about five hundred odd from commerce, I think. Um, yeah, so not a huge amount, but plus thirty percent. We're making four ten from there, and one four seven from there. I mean, thirty percent of that. That's a, that's a couple extra like hundred, I think. So let's, let's go for that. I mean, if we're living life Kong wrong way, let's just do it. He's a he's a commercial boy. He's a trade specialist. And that's going to bring us up to the, uh, oh god, Wei Chi? Oh, How do you pronounce that one, my friend? Uh, I feel like it, I Help feel us like, out in chat. I feel like we're overthinking it. Yeah, it's like but weaky. more importantly, um, heavy repeating crossbowmen that would unlock, as well as trade influence and plus 12 satisfaction for other strategists. And that's because down the blue tree, we got Huge. more ranged, it's more of a ranged focused tree, right? Oh, it's Go. Imagine the pieces like soldiers. Imagine the board like China. Now think of the possibilities. Aww. That's actually the um, that's the proper name for for Go, apparently. There you go. That's pretty cool. We learn something new every day. Okay. Big, big mad Skaven guy says Wei Chi, but I don't know if he's just guessing like that. <laughs> well, he is a big mad Skaven guy. I don't know if we can trust him. <laughs> so um, by the way, someone wants a wife for Kong Rong's long <laughs> member. Uh, didn't we seek a spouse? Yeah, we seek we. We s oh, what's what's S suck <laughs> seek? <t> <laughs> wow, sort sort. We sort a spouse. That's the word. Um, yeah, so we've got uh, Jongping Shang here. Um, seek eft. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's it. Well Love said, it. it's gone. Um, so yeah, no, it's fine. We've got um, we've got a wife. So we're hoping that uh, those guys will get busy pretty soon and uh, start making us some heirs. So uh, big man Skaven guy, miners in Chinese. Hmm. Well, there you go. Didn't major in Chinese though. So <laughs> if anyone has, me, <laughs> or just is. you outrank. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Taishan's our only real trade up here. We should probably start upgrading that once our cash comes in. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Grand Xiao moving in. Okay, interesting. So only two of them have actually landed there. Was that? Is that an ambush? You would not need fear us. Ooh. <laughs> Synchronized. Ooh. I'm not into that at all. Not for a non-aggression pack. You're not even thinking about prefer. negotiating, though? Nah. If he's asking that much, it can't mean that yeah, much to him. Yeah, it's not a good starting point. 
Everyone's really keen to get Tao Xiang into the, the coalition, but I, d I don't think he's into it, mate. I really don't think he's into it. I wonder why this is happening. The sandbox at play here, just trying to work out why. We've actually got the deciding vote as well here. Look, it's two for two. They they come to us. Kong Rong, what is your opinion? I'm tempted to just get him in so he stop getting these notifications. <laughs> is it? I, I was gonna say that is the kind of thing I would do in real life. Just accept something that's bad for me, Both just fail. so that I get bothered about it less. <laughs> I think that's our country right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, right. That is very true. It's too close to the bone, in fact. Um, my mouse has disappeared. Ah. Oh, is it on my screen? No, I'm joking. <laughs> you really baited me out there. <laughs> that's a different computer. Uh, have we got a problem? A slight problem. This is why you stick to the build that, you know, works. Pop us in full screen for a second. I'm just going to do an alt tab. I think that'll probably uh, fix it. And that one that's full screen is? Uh, I believe it's front cam. Front cam. That's the Bam. one. Bam. Let me just check this for a sec, guys. Oh, there's my mouse. Can Easy. we get it back now? Want to give it this back? Well. <laughs> diddle -da, diddle -da, da. This is why. <laughs> but earlier, I was recommending to Wheels we should use the build we've already used because we because, know. Well, I was that like, it's fine. let's get the trebuchets fixed because yeah, we yeah, use the trebuchets quite a lot. And Wheels was like, well, everybody's really worried about the trebuchets. I want to show you that the trebuchets are fine. I was like, no, Wheels, really. It's got to be better for the stream. <laughs> but yeah, should we get this baby uh, well, refreshed? Well, uh, yeah, I guess I guess I'll just do a do a little reload. Sorry, boys. BRB. Um, whilst we are whilst we're waiting for that to load as well, yeah. probably point out that if you have missed the previous episode, then uh, jump on over to the Total War Live YouTube channel. Ugh. Such good uh, time just, filling. Yeah, I know. We just, I just really want to give it the shout out <laughs> that it requires because we always get people saying, "Where can we watch this?" Yeah. On on like Reddit and stuff like that. Like, oh, I missed the stream. Where can I watch it? It's always on the Total Live YouTube channel. Yep. We stream to that as well, so it's immediately uploaded. You can watch it as soon as it's finished. We just want to get it everywhere you might want to consume it. Exactly. <laughs> Let's load that auto save. Ooh, a new bit of red on the menu. Yeah, you it's nice, isn't it? <laughs> this, this is the nature of, into a of, much uh, of game world. You watch the game evolve, and it's cool because it's new things, but sometimes changing. it's very confusing. <laughs> yeah, it's confusing as well because something's moved, but to send a petal uh, oftentimes into the a bug air. will pop up that, uh, Where will this that wind has of change come up. Take you? Unpredictable bug, and uh, it, it will get fixed eventually, but you just don't know until it emerges. And sometimes they're really rare, sometimes... Uh, they're reproducible, other things they aren't. War grows so bitter and endures Shall I back over? you and your enemy. Uh, yeah, go on then. Front if there is no Table end in sight, then the people will grow ah, no, weary of if the If it's easier, you can switch conflict. to the other view where it's just one, two, three, four. A swift and decisive end You put this in front of me two Maybe seconds before in the stream, <laughs> so nothing's going to be easy. I was going to do it, but then you, you seem to have taken it. No, so I, I didn't like, put it there. Oh, well, bring it over here, mate. I know what I'm doing. It's fine. I've set that bad boy up. That was Geordie being too useful for his own good. Thank yeah, that's, Shout out to that's Geordie. Geordie. Right, hopefully we won't get that again. We would not be your enemy. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, I think auto saves are Another deterministic, time, so we'll see. Let's see if that one comes up again. Um, let's see what the chat's saying. Let's try hitting. No, we should keep projecting. Uh, Moika multiplayer campaign. There's two players. It's all good. Confirm. Sorted it. Challenge issued. Oh, they've got That's a little stamp well. on those. Ah, yeah. oh, it's so weird seeing all the UI change every build. <laughs> all right. Uh, at the end of your turn, have a trade income of at least a thousand. Current total is one point six, so we'll get that on uh, on the next turn. Yeah. Challenge success. There we go. Ah, oh, this all looks so nice. Um, <laughs> there we go. So plus six k population growth from that plus plus six public order and fifteen percent income from peasantry. That's going to help us out a load. And then the next one is to forge an alliance with any faction. Interesting. Um, a friendship forming. Can friendship bloom on the battlefield? It would appear so, as two comrades find comfort in one another, laughing, training, and dining together. Ooh. Their bond is emblematic of the strength that will reunify China. Mm. And they've really cleaned this um, this up with the, the green... So you can just see at a glance now. So if you are the type of person who doesn't want to read anything, she wants to span through, yeah. you've got the color coding. Yeah, I think, um, I don't know if you pointed it out, but there's, uh, I, I'm not going to go onto it because it's really not that exciting, but there's a setting where you can choose literally every pop-up and whether or not you see it or not. Mm. So you can just be like, look, I keep getting these pop-ups and I'm really not that bothered about them. Just mm. turn them off, literally. Um, low general satisfaction. 
Okay, so that is something that we need to worry about as well. I've upgraded our public school. I am I'm just sort of focused on income right now, but maybe we should start looking into something that's actually going to give us some decent garrison strength as well. Why well, is our garrison in this place? It's what we fought about, fought against before. So, pay highs available to upgrade. We'll grab that as well. A little bit more peasantry income. Most of our cash spent on that, but we do have we are as one. just on the river. I don't know if we can actually reach him. No, he's just out of our movement range. But we've actually got Fu Yu I here. Cannot. Who we could go after. I think what we need to do is stick to the plan. Moving Keep him onto one. this land here. And then I think I'll actually shove him in force Carry march just strength. in case they uh, well get any ideas. Just to get rest. into that um, reinforcement zone. Mm. Just so we've got a little bit of help from the farmland. It's only going to be a couple of units, but every little helps. Um, no. Because those guys can reach me. I'm not too worried about them, but you've always got to be careful. Now, as for this general satisfaction, let's see if we've got any ancillaries we can give him. Plus six satisfaction from there. That's not too bad. Give us some authority, which isn't hugely useful to him right now. But Maybe down the line? He's on 12 right now, so we should really sort that out. So let's give him that. A little bit happier now. He's just a bit more sort of like, all right, yeah, okay. Thanks for the book. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not a video game. <laughs> <laughs> if you could invent video games, that would be really good. Um, someone asking what corruption does. So we just showed it right there. So you can see the... Um, it's an income modifier? Yeah, essentially, the more corruption there is, the less you'll get from your taxes because people are skimming off the top. Mm. Um, certain things can increase and decrease that, but you can, um, you can stop corruption happening by appointing an administrator. So administrators are a really good way of um, culling that. But there's also yeah. techs that can help you out as well. Uh, but the administrators, what, they are going to cost money in of themselves? So I think they cost about 400 a turn. So but they also I Im imbue all of their benefits that they get from them as a character. So for example, yeah. if, we, if we were to look at Kong Rong, just open up his big old, uh, big old list of things that he does. So if we go to, is it county? No, oh, it's local. Don't know if he's it's got a big any. list, Michael. There we go, Minister's <laughs> Commandery. So this guy would uh, reduce our construction yeah. costs, get more food production, all that kind of stuff, which is always really useful. And there's um, quite a few ancillaries which can increase the amount of cash that you get. Yeah, so um, you've, got to, you've got to really weigh it up. You can't just... Exactly, yeah. It's, it's all, a, it's all a, a gentle balancing act that you yeah. need, need to work. Um, I'm kind of just waiting for your Aunt Shell to just come and smash me up. I'm assuming that's what will happen. Yeah, I thought that might happen. Ooh. Okay. This will be That's a not one, right? looking great. I think because we were in Force March, we can't retreat, but we do get the reinforcements. I don't know if that's <laughs> really that much of an improvement in the situation we were already in. This should be a good Saying fight. Saying our though. forces are evenly matched, they've got a few losses here. Win or lose, this should be a good, a good battle. Yeah. <laughs> Probably lose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's do the quick save just in case. You know. I'm not saying we're going to use it, but it's always nice to have. It's always nice to have. <laughs> the safety net. Plan B. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we have got some pretty strong cab. We do also have our big boy in his big old armor set, so hopefully he's going to be pretty, uh, pretty mm. beneficial to us. We might have to use him in a duel. You've got a lot of cab as well, yeah, which is a, a pretty nice advantage for you. Um, so if you can use that and take out their ranged, for example, I think you've got a very strong chance here, brother. Okay. I don't know if those reinforcements are going to be super helpful. They've got, um, I think we've got the high ground, so it's over essentially. Uh, but it also depends on where their reinforcements are going to come in from. <sighs> Taisha Sir, it's going to be big for us. We still haven't reclaimed his bow yet, after it was stolen by the Han Empire. So <laughs> it's a really rainy, foggy day. Someone's calling for the corner camp. The corner camp. <laughs> I don't think that benefits us. We've got a few ranged units, but it's our cab that's going to be the most important thing here. So cool, this, this looks like Horsham. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's the rolling green hills of West Sussex. <laughs> okay. Um, we'll also have a little bit of protection from the trees as we as we go down the hill. Let's have a little look at our units because I know someone was asking for it. The music's so, on point yeah, for this one as beautiful, well. Beautiful, beautiful. So here he is with his sick new armor. He's almost got a little Yuran Shao esque uh, huge helmet. Is that part action. of the armor or is that just uh, this dude? That's part of the armor. The helmet changes with it. Um, that's his uh, Imperial G, oh. which is looking pretty fresh. Yeah, come on, guy. Bit more oomph than that. I, I, need, I need your I put ability. It, put it close to the mic. Though. Okay, all right. Secondary. Go on. Oh, that's much better. I'm feeling much more charged now. <laughs> um, 
gong. I just yep. love it when someone types in all caps in the chat. <laughs> gong. Like, not even, not even making a joke. Just. <laughs> We've got Taisha Sir here as well. I love this little, like, arm uh, van brace thing that he's got going on, which is pretty cool. Uh, and all these, like, little um, bits of design on the trousers and stuff like that. It's really sweet. But, yeah, this guy's going to be very big for us because do not... Do not underestimate how much of an effect these weapons can have, because the damage yeah. they can do is crazy. Bear in mind we've got terror as well, which is going to help us out. Do you think it might be a good... Uh, well, I don't know if you know what the other lords are yet. Lords? No. Are they called lords? Warlords. Characters. Characters, yeah. But someone wants to see a duel, so if you think it's good for you in this battle... I 100% think that duels is, is going to um, help us out here, because... Okay, sweet. We've got... He's, like, he's only level one, which scares me a little bit. But he is a vanguard, which means he's a damage dealer. Mm -hmm. You know, he's got decent melee and um, range toughness. Yeah. Um, only 18 melee power. If we uh, match that up with the, the G of the Imperial Guard and the cool armor, I'm hoping that that'll make him pretty sick. We'll see, though. We'll see. So, actually, that's. I, I oh, don't yeah, and. Um, this, so. What you should uh, acclimatize yourself to your unit, unit abilities right now so you don't forget them. So, this guy's got the Roar of the Beast. Um, if he's engaged in the duel or in melee, then he drops their morale by 18, which is pretty good. Um, okay, so is that why you think you're dueling with him? Uh, Sun Xiao also has the Temper Deflection, which is an active buff which drops All right. uh, drops range damage against our units. So we'll put those in range yeah. at, the fr at the front. And then unfortunately, Taisha says Hail of Arrows he can't use because we haven't got his bow back uh. instead. So Wait, we, we got, we got Taisha that? Surf from the Han Empire. But he didn't have his bow. Because the Han was like, oh, that's a nice bow. I'll put it on this character. Oh, really? So when Taisha Surf joined us, he's like, sorry, guys, I haven't got a bow. <laughs> so can he can't you use his ability. Can you trade for it back or something? There, mu there must be one somewhere that we could trade. But it, oh, yeah, it would take a, a little while bow. to grab it. Uh, so, yeah, we want to put our shields up the front. G at the back. Of course, this is extreme unit sizes. Yeah, look at these big old boys. <laughs> We've also got our, <laughs> our little um, axe band unit here as well. And then our uh, slightly more organized uh, Gian Sword Guard. Looking pretty stick. Uh, Tabrio, as we said, he did have his bow, and the faction he was aligned with gave it to someone else, it seems yeah. like. Because Antilleries can move around. Um, the only thing that you can't take off of a legendary character is his armor. Mm. Because that's, um, that's Tied like, to them li yeah, literally, like, if fit they're wearing it. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> um, there we go. So we've got some Lance Cavalry here as well, which is pretty good. So I'm going to group all these guys up. This is our Cavalry contingent over here. Uh, we'll keep Sui Lu with them as well. Taisha Sir and Sun Xiao are just going to sit in the middle here with our with our main force, and then we'll get our archers over here to join them in two ranks. Keeping and it nice and compact. And it's maximum 20 units in an arm? It's 21. Um, if you include the generals, and of course, if you're playing in records mode, then those generals will be in cavalry contingents as well. I don't know if we actually, um, I don't know if we actually mentioned Whoa! that, but Enemy reinforcements there's are arriving! an attribute which you can increase in your characters, which actually, uh, yeah, I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, because that's that's health yeah. in records mode. Did this mode. end in the final cut? I don't know. I really wish I'd watched the final cut <laughs> so I know what was public information. Oh, look at that! But. Um, but yeah, there's an attribute that you can increase on your characters that will improve the amount of units that they have in their cavalry contingent. So, yeah. so there you go. So they're split off right now. That looks like a nice duel if he accepts it. I doubt he will. You can probably rush in though, try and get a nice early character kill one. Let's grab these boys down here. I'm just gonna Sorry. lock this formation. So. Classic YouTube comment. Anyone asked if you can marry your mom yet? <laughs> <laughs> mom? <laughs> uh, America, he's so wacky. <laughs> Um, right. All of these characters are pretty low, actually. I wonder if anyone's ready for a duel right now. They're all probably out of range. No, nobody wants to duel with this guy. Okay. That's fine. We're going to keep it moving. As you can see, our uh, our stamina's pretty, pretty rubbish right now. They're forming together, which is really what I didn't want to happen, because now they're a lot larger than us. But as I said, we've got the high ground. Let's just get them into bow range. I'm a bit like I don't want to distract you on this one because I feel like you can you can win it if you if you aren't distracted. I don't know. I've got my <laughs> reinforcers coming in. Thank you, chat. <laughs> There's only a couple of units, uh, but we'll pull them in. In fact, because of that, let's just hold this hill because we kind of need to um, regain some stamina as well. Let's speed things up a little bit just to keep it keep it nice and interesting for the chat. So they're reforming into a new line. They've got a lot of archers over there. 
don't like the amount of archers they have. Okay. Mido, I need, I need you to be, to be missing. Oh, I was just right listening now. to the music, to be honest. <laughs> That's really not very I was, useful. I was wondering how loud it is, because it's not that loud for us, but I think it might be a bit louder for, uh, for the extra stream. I'm hoping that these guys can recover their stamina. I don't know if it caps out at very tired when they're on... Um, when they've just been doing Force March. Mm. So have you got... Um, if you have have you got your there. Sentinel boys at the front of their... Uh, Deed I do. Range deflection. Deed I do. Just double check it, mate. I know you can have it. You've got to cut, bring the cavalry around. So they're, they're sending four units of um, Zhang cavalry and uh, Saber cavalry here. And those those guys are actual cavalry. They're not militia units, so they're going to be hard hitting. So pulling my cavalry back over just to make sure that we've got some kind of contingency to deal with it. I'm going to use my G infantry over here to just move over to the side, protect our flank a little bit. Um, and then these guys are going to take a little while before they get into range. They'll, they'll act, there'll be literal reinforcements. We'll just wait for them. So a, quite a few arrows coming down now to try and deal a little bit of damage to them before they get to us. We're taking a decent chunk off their health. Yeah, that's not yeah, bad. They're, they're dropping pretty fast. Oh, here we go. Fuyu versus Taisha Sir. <sighs> Overwhelming. Our comrade is under attack! Let's do it. I must Dennis. prevail! He's engaged. Taisha Sir engaging in a duel. <laughs> and we can't spend too long staring at that duel, otherwise we're going to get wrecked. Yes. But those cavs just charge straight into the side of my axe band, which I can't really do a whole lot about because I'm still protecting my flank over here. Taisha Sir just needs to survive. I'm going to grab... Um, that's just range block chance. Ah, oh, that sucks. Okay, okay, that's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's all fine. It's all fine. <laughs> Might pop him into jaw as well. Uh, uh, I don't think uh, Taisha Sir. Taisha Sir is doing so hard. No, I think when I was looking at their strength, I was assuming it was the other way around. Yeah, I, w <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that. Because Fuyu is a level 4 champ. Look, so, probably going to wreck him. Well, at least he's not um, destroying your friends. Or your it's very true. It's very true. It's very true. We've got, got some curve coming in over here, so I'm just going to pull over our other unit here and then just get into the side of these gen sword cards. Those guys we just take down. Right, let's send you into some of these units just to deal a little bit of carnage. Swoop in. Hopefully we can kill off some of their lines because that would be really, really useful. Uh, and then I'm going to try and pick apart their uh, Warriors V because they're super high tier. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, we've got <laughs> explo flanks exposed. I really uh, I needed my reinforcements and oh, just completely forgot about them. The <laughs> also, this map is so huge that it takes us so long to get over there. The problem is, where are you? Kill off their characters, I think. They've got a lot of low health characters that we can actually just target out. Hang on, is there... Oh, he did it! Oh my god, he did it! What? <laughs> he just came out of nowhere. I think that is their champ running? He's just survived. Oh, I think this is the, the survival thing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because he was um, weaker, he just had to survive for a certain amount of time. The enemy oh. unit flees! Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not something we've actually talked about a whole lot, but yeah, yeah that yeah. is a thing. Um, and it's quite difficult to explain, so I'm not going to do it right now, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's pull these guys out here. I'm just trying to stop their cab just marching directly into the backs of my um, backs of my archers, but that means that I'm expending my cab in the process. It isn't really helping me. Right, Taisha Sir got on his horse and then immediately routed, which isn't great. <laughs> he was so low, he only just survived. Uh, I'm sending, the enemy general sending my boy Sulu ah. over to kill him. Luckily, one of my um, one of my opponent's characters has died after Sun Xiao targeted him out. I'm just trying to peel them all off. He's only got so much health. Fight. Come, Come on, me, though. <laughs> Sorry. I love... I just love how... You get increasingly more manic and then sad when you lose. What are you implying that I'm losing? I'm only slightly losing, all right. I just feel like one of the viewers. I feel like I'm just watching. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm actually on stream right now. He's actually off of his mount, so we could probably deal him quite a lot of damage. We managed to grab him before he uh, got back on the horse. The enemy warriors are running. Oh, running. Oh, my God. We've actually dealt with their cab. And we've actually got our reinforcements coming in. Okay, this is good. This is really good. You oh, boys. It was, a, it was a tactical. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tactical the target. reserves. The reserves. It's fine. 
Uh, <laughs> it's absolutely what we meant. Oh God, I really want my cab to just not be in a battle anymore so that I can just pull them out, but they're kind of just stopping all of my people from being flanked. <laughs> Right. Our men flee the battlefield. Icons here as well. It's giving me a bit of uh, well, yeah, turns with those icons. Oh. No, it's exhaustion. The it's, enemy it's general fall. Sort of I think it, once again, it's because we were looking for this on that video. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we probably can't tell you. Really time. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't need to distract. Run. That's all you're doing is distracting me. Oh, though. I, I need more support it. from you. <laughs> Get back yes, here. If I can kill their characters off, there's a huge morale penalty for mm. that. So at the very least, we can use that to our advantage. Oh, God, our oh, cab has not been useful whatsoever. Your cab's melting. Everything's melting, man. It's bad times. It's hot here. Faster! Yeah. March at the double! Let's go back to these archers. At least stop them firing. Yeah. Let's head! Yeah. It's Tai... Oh, I can't say it. Tai Shasa has run off of the battle. The enemy general has fallen. They were no match. He might be dead. I don't remember him seeing that he was, was not you dead. I thought weak. he was running, though, a lot. <laughs> Kill them! <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I just heard the Wilhelm scream. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope you have. <laughs> oh god, this is this is uh, this is an absolute mess. Is this the army with your terror? It is, yeah. But they're all on the cab, which I all, literally all I could do with them, um, all I could do with them was stop their cab the from destroying my uh, back lines because I had two spear units and they all got engaged. Um, one difference between this game and Warhammer is that you can actually dismount. So, so yeah, uh, if you choose to go into battle on the horse, you can get off of it. Especially with the characters. Very useful with the characters. Those guys are just chasing up on route, you know, which is kind of handy. Oh, this is, this is ruined. We've been absolutely ruined. I mean, we were expected to lose, so it's fine. <laughs> As, it's all gone Kong wrong. As the, yeah, as the fable goes, as I was going to say, it has all gone wrong. Attack! At least we can kill their characters off. I'm just trying to, try to get some kind of benefit out of this battle now. But we could just murder their strategist. Did you remember to use your abilities, by the way? I mean, only one of them was kind of useful, to be honest. Okay, it's just the one. I've been dropping his, uh, his morale debuff, which has been pretty handy. <laughs> Lubu V1. We are being Lubu pushed one. back! Kill them! Could have won. Th this guy has. <laughs> has I don't think I could have, to be honest. Oh, should have had them play. Yeah, I'd love to see them try it. <laughs> um, who wants spear charges to the sword guard? Do, I'm literally just trying to deal some kind of damage before we inevitably lose this. We've got like two, three units left. They're out of ammo. We're already being. Uh, he completely yeah, annihilated. So that's it. That's the one. Aww. Well, there we go. Okay. Yeah, wasn't wasn't great. I tried to duel more actually, but none of them actually wanted to. That was my <laughs> issue. I got one yeah. duel and then um, we did pick the wrong duel actually, for sure. Well, to be honest, um, my best my best jeweler. They were all scared of him because they were all about twenty percent health. Mm. So I, I I literally had to go in and target them. So yeah. Clever efforts from the AI, to be honest. Miscalculated. 153 kills on that big boy. That was tough. That was really tough. <laughs> a tough one, but we can recover, right? Hopefully. <laughs> Might be the end of the sir. We must continue for the brave. And he did survive. Fell. Fine. Uninjured and raring for battle. Won a jewel. All right. Is this going to be the end of the army? No, we can retreat, ever. but they're just going to come in for the double tap, of course. Now. <laughs> Yikes. Do I try and... Because don't... they don't have the reinforcements anymore. Yeah, but your army is so much... I mean, it's worth a go, isn't it? As long as you don't get too sad about it. As long as you promise not to get too downbeat about it. Let's yeah. at least try and murder all their characters off, right? Yeah. Oh, I got you. For you, has got the resilience on, so if we actually kill him now, he's actually dead. It was a tough battle. It was, it was hard. <laughs> I think the the jewel could have turned it potentially. A lot of trees around, which will sort of negate their range of punish a little bit, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, maybe just run off into their most tree-filled corner. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely need to wait for our reinforcements this time, I reckon. Uh, yeah, and maybe just don't lose any of your heroes here. Heroes? 
Characters? Name Names Dave has got it out. Where are the re uh, where are the trebuchets? Sorry, when you need them, that's what we needed. So reinforcements are actually coming from the behind. So that's not going to be great for us, to be honest. Not really what I wanted. Uh, I'm going to lock these guys in to start much more. Don't you want to wait for them to come to you a bit more? Well, no, because these guys are behind them. So. Behind them, yeah. So look. They're just going to come towards us, so if we don't at least stop them, then those reinforcements aren't even going to be able to get to them by the end of the battle. Lubu V1 wants you to hide your cavalry in the woods. I can do that. Make I can ready. indeed do that. Uh, tai Sh Sir Zbo mm -hmm. is was uh, stolen by another faction, essentially. Or yeah, what? well, it wasn't stolen. It was technically their property, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was uh, it was pretty nasty of them. Oh god, their cavalry coming De from that side, so we're just going to go this side. There was an event. Basically, it, it all happened before we actually got Titus in our army. So, what what the, uh, the reason behind it was? Hidden was enemies. Kind of uh, kind of elusive to us. But mm. the interesting but thing you can is piece that piece it together. Yeah, the interesting thing is that we got a Titus Seren with no bow. So, although he, you know he's still a pretty pretty legendary sentinel, so he can still Hold take up. a beating. Okay, like we need one sad goal, but then also let's G up with the next goal. Oh, I've got a twister. <laughs> yep. so, right. Cav coming in. I want to kind of... I mean, they are getting shot to bit by these guys. I just want to form up over Rally! here. So turn around, Our turn around. There we go. Dude. Oh, my God. Uh, really would have liked it if you guys had turned around. Okay, okay, okay. Luffy is a playable character. Uh, Steal yourself! But he's not a starting... Yeah, he's not a faction leader, yeah. which means he, that... Um, he's the heir to Don Draw's faction. Exactly. Uh, but you can, of course, take control of him and have him be faction leader. And um, oh, rather than go into that now, I believe you'll see content on our YouTube channel uh, within the coming weeks, which will tell you more about that. Our noble brother is being right. attacked! Who asked me to hide my cat? I need those. <laughs> I really, really needed those. Um, oh god, this is horrible. We are killing off their cavalry units, which is the thing I was most scared about at the start of the battle. But my god, they just have so many more men than we do. Uh, and don't forget your reinforcements. Oh, it's so scary. scary. It's gone. The boy's gone. It's really scary. Not helping that I can't see anything either. <laughs> picks a, an advantageous the terrain. In the I just want to say, Jacob Sudder, I see you. I see you, YouTube chat. I'm reading you right now, but I read YouTube chat less because there's a lot more things that make me not want to live on this planet in YouTube chat <laughs> that aren't even related to Total War. That's true. But I do read it. Yeah, coming in with a sass, wasn't he? Saying, oh, read your YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'd read it as well. Run, run. Um, and also, I don't like to Our interact men with flee the battlefield. Uh, <laughs> so that's why I don't really react to the everything. Come on, lads. Now, Twitch chat, YouTube hey, chat. Move. Fight. <laughs> Who's the better chat? <laughs> Let's find out tonight in the Octagon. <laughs> Smash him in the back, lads. Smash him in the back. This is literally the only bit of damage we're going to do. Oh, they're so tired. Oh, my God. Get in, boys. Oh, oh God, man, they're running. Just wait there. The That's a terrible idea. It's an awful plan. If only you had someone telling you what to do. I feel like the the weather of this battle is, is, is improving the mood a bit, at least. What? <laughs> something, something about the rain and the fog that just makes it feel like you can lose. Uh, I don't know if I agree with that, but <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of things that you say that I don't agree with. So, <laughs> come on, Taisha. I'm I'm very very surprised that none of my uh, heroes have died yet. That's actually huge. The enemy warriors are running. Drop them around a little bit as well. A uh, range block chance isn't super useful for me, but Ready? I'm just gonna drop it anyway. Kill them. Kill come on, boys. Champions are going to be huge in this one. Let's get Taisha out of there because he's not having a good time anymore. Go, 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 go. go. Hurry, he might die. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of death. That's fine. We have actually um, oh, routed these boys Hold over the here. Line. Oh, God. <laughs> Who died? 
Oh no, not him. I thought Taisha Silva was going to die, not him. That's probably fine. It's probably fine. Get rid of their archers. Oh, you, did you lose Taisha? No, no, Taisha is still alive. Okay. Um, we lost. I actually can't remember his name, but he was. Oh no, Taisha is now dead. Um, but we we lost the other guy. Uh, it's just funny because everyone in the chat was like, "Hey, look, it's fine. Everything's fine as long as Taisha doesn't die." Yeah, I I would just like to point out that had we not fought, fought this battle, then Taisha would have, his army would have been destroyed. He wouldn't have necessarily been wiped out. It's a poor word, you guys. The enemy warriors are running! Ah. Um, these archers have actually been really, really um, important for this battle. Someone was asking about blood. We're not ready to talk about that. I'm sure eventually. You are yeah. weak! Get slammed. Slam them up. Slam around. Do a slam. There we go. <laughs> Do your slam attack. Do your slam attack. Oh, yeah, I think God. Did anyone see what actually happened to tight shit, sir? No, it was off screen, I think. He died off screen, and that's like the... The worst death a everyone's person can have in a TV show. Everyone's hoping they just rioted. Oh, God. Yeah, well, that's Usually the Usually when they die off screen, that means they survived. So. Well. Oof. Those drums. Yeah, that was that was harsh. Well, this has been a, a sore note. <laughs> Name's Dave saying, no wins today. We did win the uh, siege at the start. that was incredibly sacked in our favor, so... <laughs> Oh, that was a timid little. Oh, uh, oh. F. <laughs> fire. Still oh smoke. God. No, he's, he's still survived. alive. He survived. He's Just dead. Tis but a scratch. He's lost. Ouch. At the very least, at the very least, <laughs> Kong Ron can now just swoop in and annihilate them. Stop inviting everyone into the coalition, boys. <laughs> it's a select. Party, all right? We withdraw it then. <laughs> Will you join us? Uh, now, Wang it. Quang wants us to join. Oh God, against Gongsun Zan. No, that's a that's a terrible offer. Pity we he was offering agree. us a lot of cash, but that's really not going to work out for us. I want Gongsun Zan to not want to kill me. Who was that? Seeing another uh, UI icon I haven't seen before. Right. Okay. Oh, thank God for that. So Yuan Xiao actually captured our um, character. No. What? Where's he gone then? Oh God. Whoa. I'm guessing that was just a that was either a bug or something weird happened there, but I think Tui Li, mm. who had all our cool equipment, has has, has completely died. <laughs> so that amazing armor is now just like trampled into the mud somewhere. Oh, you win some, you lose some, mate. Oh <laughs> mate. This is bad times. The other terms have been destroyed. He's dead. Okay, right. Sorry, I'm just trying to catch up on all of the horrible things that have happened to me. <laughs> uh, they're dead, so I can't give them any level. Rivals. Army lost. Taichi uh, has returned to the fold. <laughs> He's looking pretty happy considering the events that have happened to him. Okay, right. So what we need to do now... Are can I just say, our income is incredible. Um, <laughs> so... <laughs> oh, you've done so well, man. That was yeah. all part of the plan, right? Exactly. So, so Kong Rong is now just going to sweep up the, the tattered remains of their forces. Oh, God, that's really annoying. They just went straight, like, literally just out of our reinforcement. Um, Millimeters. But there's no way that these guys will come after us now. We've, we've done enough damage, I would hope. What I'm worried about is where Yuan Xiao's main stack is. We didn't need those guys anyway. It was just a restructuring. It was a restructure. It was a corporate restructure. <laughs> We're going to improve our trade ports. That is quite common, wrong, actually. Yeah, it is. Oh, we we uh we can't legally fire them. <laughs> it's fine. I got a plan. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, all good. You've been made redundant, lads. Unionize the games industry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. It's getting quite hot, so I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm, you know what? You can I'm be in charge. I'm heating guy. up. Right, okay. I'm hoping that my boys will actually come in and help me as well. That'd be really nice if Liu Bei would actually uh, come and join the war. I don't know if he's actually in this, this battle here. Oh my god. We are so, so happy with each other. These guys are such good friends. Maybe you need to um, reposition some friends. of his military might. You're at war with Yuan Shao. Okay. War coordination can... I think we can only do that with, um, with actual alliances. 
Coalitions are a bit more freeform. So have you checked for the I, the I, I am for China. It is didn't time survive? To no, they're, they're, they're gone for good. They're, they're gone for good. I think if they die in battle, then... Uh... <gasps> oh, that's changed. Recovered. I don't think that's how it used to work. I yeah. think that's changed. And and this is still in <sighs> in development, I say. It's fantastic. And when the game actually comes out, it could change again. It's fantastic. <laughs> but right now, it's played into our hands. <laughs> okay, all right. So, <laughs> okay, hold up. Let's okay. hold up. Hey. <laughs> Boom. All right. This is good. He can't actually equip that, but he can equip this. But that's going to drop his expertise by another six. Thank you, DK Drew. Thank you for pointing that out. Uh, my cheese got that on already. Okay. All right. That's fine. So. I know it's Remain only a coalition and not a military alliance, but with can agents. you persuade some of your coalition to help you out of this of this uh, predicament you've got? Well, Liu Bei is already at war with Yuan Shao, Good and I, to see you. I think that Liu Dai is as well. Hmm. He's not. Okay. So, um, let's ask him to join our war with Yuan Shao. What would he want from that? Now, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> so, even though they're happy to do that, the shift of the balance of power for them is too much. Basically, what they're saying is, this guy's way too big a threat for me. Mm. So I can't do that. So I'd have to give him quite a steady offering of cash to be able to actually bring him in. And I can't really do that just yet. But we are making a lot of money. 47 so, coins in the coin purse. In the old purse. <laughs> oh, they're just inviting everyone. This is this is absurd now, guys. I'm rejecting. I don't want any more people is in the Is it coalition. because it's different people suggesting each time? Is that why there's so many? It might be, yeah. Now, Yuan Shao... Yuan Shao is actually willing to offer up Yi Farmland. Okay, what, what does he want in exchange? To peace out. Really? He wants peace. Well... In exchange for 200 gold a turn, 1,600 gold, and a patch of farmland. Oh, that's that actually bad. really good. But then where do we expand from there? He's our main... It's our main place to get territory from. Unless you want to turn on someone else. Or just become untrustworthy. Everyone <laughs> in the chat is like, that's a really good deal. I'm like, I know it is. <laughs> I know we've just taken a lot of losses. What about Gong Gongsan? The boy Gongsan? Yeah, but then that's, that's a bit of border gore for us. Oh, I'm just minimize that. That's a bit of border gore for us. Who's in the way? Uh, Wang Quang, who we're friendly with. <sighs> Can we just eject Wang Quang? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a boring coalition anyway. Let's get out of it. <laughs> yeah. Show Return is saying you'll make more money just by eating him up. Mm. It's not... Ugh. He wants peace because he fears you, says the dust boss. Hello, Shaki. Oxu Knight is like, what? You can minimize pop-ups now? <laughs> <laughs> Focusing on the main thing there. <laughs> um, oh, God. Could go for the Han, who are over here, I think. Feast of Crows says, do it. You only have one army right now. Take the deal, take the deal. Everyone's asking me to take the deal. I suppose we could go into the mountains. All right. It's what the chat want. And you can always go west. All right, YouTube. A productive meeting. There he was. He was right there, waiting for us. <laughs> I just love this guy, Lubu V1, with his all caps. Where is he actually going? This doesn't look very peaceful, you're at, <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing out there? Have you got military uh, access? Or is he just heading over to the other side? I don't know. He's definitely trespassing. <laughs> pranked. <laughs> <laughs> Get Ooh. pranked. Over tea, you tell your general of your dream of a jade bird. The general takes a long sip of their tea, places the cup down and looks you in the eye. A vision of a jade bird is an auspicious prophecy. The jade indicating imperial matters and the bird a being that can reverse the gap between earth and heaven. Ooh. Ooh. Someone's tipping me for, you could be the emperor, you know. A <laughs> little bit of experience, and we've got a nice old relationship forming between me and uh, Cheng Yan, which is always nice. Okay, interesting. Yeah, um, on YouTube, uh, have yeah, Emmanuel, I think, is saying, but you're Kong wrong. Build tool, not wide. So that, is, that fits. It's very that true. Fits. It is very true. We did just um, secure a full commandery there. We've got a whole lot of catch coming in. We're making bank right now. 
I wonder if um, another yellow tower has popped up. I wonder if we should just start building up our army. <laughs> Flanny no. Tep says, maybe the dream just means be birds are cool. <laughs> 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 to be fair, I don't think you can really read into dreams. I've had some very weird dreams. <laughs> oh god, I can imagine what your dreams are like, man. <laughs> uh, you don't want it. I, no, I really don't. So he only the only bit of territory he controls north of the Yellow River is Hene. But he's got a whole lot of armies here. I cannot. Um, is it time to spy? Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, maybe it is. Uh, have you not got the tech yet? I think I've just lost a spy slot, and I'm not sure why. But what's more important is um, I wanted to point out what happened. So now that we've signed a peace treaty, what do you want? we're still trustworthy, right? Mm -hmm. um, if we were to then go to war, and I think I'm hoping it will do this. Yeah, there we go. So that would make us treacherous. So we're breaking deals shortly after signing them, declaring war shortly after signing peace, and declaring war shortly after breaking deals. No, we've got about 10, 9 turns before that goes away. Mm. So it's about two years, essentially. Yeah. It's been two years we're at peace now. You know, th those are old times. I assume that goes down, like those, the untrustworthiness goes down as time passes as well. So what Yeah, I think it does trend back up. So yeah. we've got a little bit of time if we want to keep our trustworthiness. Mm. If we want people to be on side of us, which is pretty handy for trade. Uh, then we've got a little bit of time that we need to wait. Um, we can actually support... Oh, that's way too far away from us to worry about it. Okay, so who are we at war with right now? So we've got... Oops. Have you got those bandits nearby? You do, don't you? Yeah, they're over here. So we're actually at war with Galgan, so I think that's our next territory to take down. Um, and going into the Black Mountains is quite is quite treacherous down there, but we could get some decent, decent things happening for us. Hello, sir. You left your water bottle. Oh, wait. Do you know what? I'm actually okay. I've got hopper. I feel like I had a water in here and I've left it somewhere weird. Oh, yeah, that that'd be fantastic. Make you a water. <laughs> yeah, really big it up. Um, to the tap. Right, we've got a lot of food though, which we could probably sell off. So let's uh, let's do some more art of the deal here. Who has? Uh, who has low food? And really quickly, recruit. Lube on minus one. So okay. Recruitment. To you. Mm -hmm. Is it tied to buildings or does it work differently this time? So recruitment is tied to characters and the uh, the reform sorry that you've mm. unlocked so you can you can recruit anywhere kind of like thrones uh -huh. oh the chungus <laughs> no the chungus is back oh lord he coming <laughs> <laughs> yeah please tell us uh, the story of why you drink out of a vase <laughs> <laughs> basically i kept wondering why isn't anyone using this fantastic glass here it's really great it's tall and then i realized it's a vase <laughs> that's why <laughs> but it's great to drink out of. Thanks. Oh, see you later, mate. See you later next time. Um, okay, so we can't do Liu Bei because we've already got one going with him. Yuan Chao's very poor on food. Cao Cao has loads of food. He's not fussed. He's got a big old amount of food. Um, Liu Bu is very poor on food, but if we start getting into deals with him, there's a lot of people that probably will Oh, be so Liu Bu has taken over in this save? Yeah, no, I think he's actually started his own faction. Um, and then killed off the uh, previous Dong Zhuo faction. Liu Biao, he's very poor on food. How do you, we how find you common if we were to, if we were to make regular, where is it? Offer food trade. There we go. So we can offer up to about, probably about fifteen. You know, we've got a lot of excess food here. That's that's nice. Is that because all your army died and no longer needs to eat? <laughs> Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Again. No, we've just we've just inherited loads of farmland out of that deal. Um, so to 10 food, we can get 8 out of that. And if we request regular payments, this is the art of the, art of the deal coming back in here. We can get a huge sum of cash. We can push that up a little bit further, I think. Let's go to, like, 350. Oh, a little bit further? <laughs> 355? Ooh, that'll do. So that's 355 uh, income there. From food that we're not using as well. Your offer Puts us on 3.2 grand a turn. Tasty. I'm feeling pretty good about this, mate. I'm feeling pretty good about this one. So what's the long-term plan now that you've had to rethink your strategy unexpectedly? So I think what we want to do here is we want to keep increasing our income from uh, trade. Mm -hmm. And then I've actually got a couple of guys who can go over there and do an assignment as well. So... For example, income from commerce. Education program. Now, this is one of Kong Rong's special um, assignments. Plus 75% income from commerce. 
That's huge. Uh, Xiao Shang as well currently has a lack of purpose. So let's send him out to do that. That's going to increase our cash even more once he's gotten there. Now you're living the Kong wrong way. Yeah, now we're living the Kong wrong way. <laughs> okay. Um, someone's suggesting that I avoid spending all my money on armies if we're not going to be fighting for a while, which is a good plan. But what I'm going to do is going to send Kong Rong over to over to the E farm land. Although on the on the subject of recruitment, mm -hmm. uh, armies do need to muster now to as well. Yes. So you can't just. It's the same as. Um, it's a similar system to Thrones of Britannia, right? Yeah. You can't just appear an army. They have to muster for a few turns. It's very true. Okay, so let's start increasing that as well, that public school. And send that turn there. Oh, my God, Lou Bay. Come on, mate. I'm rejecting. I, d I don't want any bigger a coalition because it's just going to get messy. Yeah. And we're blocking ourselves off as well. Right, your Anshao is pulling back now. I think he's realized that, oh, wait, we just signed a peace deal. <laughs> mm. Um, have you tried out any war coordinations yet? Uh, I don't think we can use them in, um, in a coalition. Oh right, yeah, yeah you yeah, need yeah. to upgrade to an alliance, and that and that. I, is th I think that's how it works. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think no, I think you're right, because there's no obligation. Yeah. And it is more difficult uh, with more people in the coalition. What? Well, although it's better to have the greater numbers, it also comes with added politics, which isn't a good thing a lot of the time. Whoa. That's a lot of general effects. Oh my god. Damn, look Kong Rong, you Look at all this formation. You buffed, bro. Holy, holy heck. <laughs> holy heavens. <laughs> my word. <laughs> Game's so British. Uh, um, so we can't actually do any recruitment this turn. And I'm not entirely sure why. It might be because of the winter. Um, or it might be because we just uh, sprinted over there. But what I'm going to do now is stop grading our food income again, now that we've uh, gotten rid of quite a few of them. And I also want to start upgrading our towns at home as well. Like we said, build tall, not wide. So let's pop that up to a level three town as well. Now that we've got all that food coming in as well, we can actually afford to start spending some of it on our on our uh, population. Mm. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Come on, mate. What um uh, time of day setting do you have on? Do you have it on? We would not. There's a lot of different settings. But you know what? I'm not entirely sure. Um, I think people are commenting that the lights sort of changed, and it could well be due to that. You can set it so that it's real time, so it matches the time of day it is now. You can set it so that the day-night cycle goes fast, it prefer. goes slow, or you can just set it to your favorite one. Morning, afternoon, evening, night. Yeah, I think we have it on... Um, I think time is passing. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I think that probably... Well, the shadows look pretty still, so maybe not. Oh, no, no, wait, they're just creeping. They're it just... seems like it's on real time then. Yeah, they're just creeping. So that's matching the time of day that it is... Uh, right here, right now. No, which no, is, no, 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 which no. is. No, it's creeping, man. It's creeping. Yeah, that means it's on real time then. If it's creeping really slowly. Really? Is yeah. that a thing? Yeah. Is that a new one? What do you I've mean? No, I've it's never been seen it for that ages. Before. We've got a scholar. And the do way. you know what time it is? Uh, it's uh, four nineteen. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what time it will be in one minute? <laughs> 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 um, we've got a nice scholar there, but I don't actually want to use that because I think Kong Rong's got a pretty decent follower right now. Yeah, he's giving us surplus markets assignment, which is pretty sick. Um, but it's also increasing our trade influence, which is the main issue. Connor, there are 11 uh, starting... 11, right? Or is it 10 and then one unlockable? Starting uh, faction leaders, aka factions. Uh, there is 11 at the start and then the 12th is Dong Shuo. Oh, that's what it is, yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's actually 12, but you have to unlock uh, Dong Shuo, the tyrant. Right, now Gao Gan is no. defending a large town. The large town's garrison looking pretty small. Absolutely and his not. force isn't that scary. So I'm there actually just going to start this battle here. To war. Strike quickly. There we go. So we're going to starve them out. Um, we could actually also fight a night battle. Ooh, there's the, oh, there's uh, the day night. Um, uh, and by the way, yeah, guys, that doesn't include uh, the yellow turbans, which we'll be speaking more about later. Minus 15 morale for the enemy army, and uh, the spotting ability will diminish, and they will not receive reinforcements. So because they're in the town with them, that's not going to affect that. But I could also demand surrender, but I don't think they'll do that because that's their last, yeah, it's their last territory, so they won't give it up. Uh, I'm going to starve them out for now. I'll come back to this because I actually want to start diminishing their supply so they start taking attrition. And if they come out of their walls, then, yeah, whatever. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> um, okay. 
apologies if this is a, a bit of a administration mm. uh, section of the of the let's play, but okay. Let's build up a small city over here as well because we want to. I want to keep increasing these public academies because once they start increasing income for everything, because we, yeah, we're almost at like four grand a turn here. Um, you're starting to uncover common strengths. There we go. We've also got a new reform here as well, which means we can get the... Was it Wei Chi? Is that what we went for? I can't remember. Um, <laughs> so it's going to give us 25% trade influence and unlock those two new buildings there. We've got the, gr the Grand Guest House and the Grand Tea House and also unlock those um, plus 12 satisfaction for strategists and the Heavy European Crossbowmen. So... I think that's going to be a good one for us, absolutely. If we go up to here on that Silk Road expedition, uh, we'll also get the Onyx Dragons, who are pretty sick. They do sound pretty. <laughs> yeah, they're By pretty By name cool. alone. Yeah. If, if you heard someone called Onyx Dragon, you'd be like, sounds like a cool guy. Yeah. <laughs> I think, uh, I think uh, that was my old Xbox Live gamer tag, actually. <laughs> Okay, all right, so... Other uh, online gaming services are available. <laughs> Not ones that you played, though, so that's all that matters, really. Um, okay, let's end up turn there. I, I wonder if they'll sally out. I'm assuming they might. I it looks have like... A quest for you. Oh, they want a clay warrior? Yeah, I'm not bothered about that. 610 gold, I'll say that. Why not? You show wisdom. Yeah, trading? Yeah, yeah it's, it's just Sao Sao, our good mate from the Coalition. People just um, want to trade with Kong Rong. I think Liu Bei is actually... Ah. Oh... Han Fu. No, I really don't want Han Fu to join. We Is that because you want to kill him? Yeah, <laughs> because he's, he's just like a little, little one-town uh, minor faction. Looks like we've got a little level up here as well. Um, so, show who's Shang. Yes, Tabriel013. That's what he's doing now. <laughs> okay. Well, first of all, we should probably give him this new armor. I am just worried that he's going to run away, though. That's why I don't want to give him anything. Um, yeah. But his, yeah, he's really struggling for, uh, really struggling for satisfaction right now. What? Oh, he's got it's disloyal. He's, he's disloyal. Don't, don't he's temperamental. Care. Seems like a bad egg. <laughs> yeah, he's not a great guy, is he? <sighs> we all know someone like like this guy. Should we just kick him out of the faction? He's just more trouble than he's worth. I genuinely think. That could be a good I'll one. tell you what we can do here. We can remove um, give him that. So we'll remove his items. Strip him dry. <laughs> then we'll actually fire him. Because I just he's just too much too much uh, too much issue. Release him from service. And then we'll just recruit someone in, in his place. Let's get someone a little bit more uh, a little bit a little bit more skilled. He's only a level one character as well, or level two or something, so I'm, I'm not bothered about him. Um, so this guy's level four, pretty decent. This guy's also level four. Let's have the oh, he's got much more uh, instinct. This is that Ju Hao. I mean, I did read the pronunciation guide, but <laughs> I didn't take any of it. I think we want to go for uh, Shi Jian. Let's grab this guy here because we've got the cash to splash, you know. And this guy's gonna be nice and happy. He's only just been recruited. That recently hired. He's gotten a plus twenty there. It's a much, much better way of doing it, I think. Um, out of the family spear and the great axe, I think we probably want to give him the spear. A little bit more armor piercing. And then once we've given him this as well, suddenly he's looking a lot more impressive already. Could give him that. Cunning, not that useful for him. Um, and then that's a little bit of retinue upkeep decrease. Uh, de decretion? Is that a word? <laughs> Decreasing our retinue upkeep, which is always nice, uh, and giving a little bit more satisfaction. So yeah, let's grab that as well. There we go. And all of a sudden, we've got a much more capable warrior. Uh, Sword Dimortal. I think if you keep if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, Total War Official, we are doing something along those lines. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Keep your eyes and ears peeled and open. <laughs> In that order. <laughs> Uh, let's start upgrading some of these peasantry income buildings as well. Um, another thing you probably m haven't noticed, but uh, is a benefit of upgrading all the builds, is that the water on the campaign map has been altered and improved slightly. Yeah, we've got a few little... Oh, look at that! Looks I delightful. think if you were to go back on the, some of the older streams, uh, it would look a lot plainer than this. Yeah. So, well played, devs. Right, so once we've actually taken Galgan. We've got a few neutral factions over here that we can probably get into war with. It looks like Jiang Yan 
has been moving in on these other territories. So that's given us Hedong, which could move all the way up to here. And then suddenly we've got a bit of a, a bit of a mm. surround on the Black Mountain bandits over there. So maybe that's our next target. Pretty nice um, defensible position. As yeah, well. it's pretty decent. But it's a bit scarce up there, am I right in thinking? It's not too much. Well, there's there's a fair amount of mines and mm. industrial uh, income. So it's like, it's pretty decent. Okay. Okay. So we've got this like little thin strip. I mainly just want to take Han Fu so that it all just joins together. It's <laughs> just being that guy. But um, yeah. I think what we, we will have to do now is to start recruiting an army in you. So... Um, I don't know why, but we're also receiving a bug now where I can't recruit armies. So I'm getting a little bit um, a little bit stifled by this build. And <laughs> I'm wishing that I'd just listen to your, uh, listen uh, to your advice. That makes me... Uh, <laughs> it's the first time I've ever admitted I'm, I'm, I'm wrong. I'm welling up because Wills has never admitted I'm right before. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> right. These guys are starting to take attrition now, which is good to see. Papa Nurgle says, fun fact, decretion is in fact actually a word. Fantastic. I think it means something else, though. I think it's... Well, secretion is like yeah. when you secrete from... So maybe it's when you stuff. take stuff in. Like, maybe. for example, moisturizer. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, so we're going to we're gonna do a little one-army playthrough right now. Um, so, right. Construction's available. Where is that? In Lang, yeah. Fishing port? It's not terribly useful to us, and it's just giving us upkeep. So I'm just going to ignore that one. <laughs> Next time, we'll do this uh, attack on Cheng Dang. Kong Zan is going to join the coalition now? I mean, he is a big player. Yeah, go on. Your I choice. Can. I can I deal have with that. A request for you. He also wants our feather fan, which I'm, I'm happy to give I him because we're not going to use it. Uh, someone wants to know about your nickname. And I think it's a pretty, pretty simple explanation. What, Wheels? It's just short for my surname, which is Whelan. Right, That's it. stop inviting Tao Shang, Your Luthai. Choice. I don't care how long you've known <laughs> him, how good of friends you are, he's not cool enough. Not cool enough to be part of this gang. Ah! <laughs> we have an heir! Amazing news! Kong Di. He's going to be a champion. Ooh, I like that name as oh, well. Nice. So we have an heir. Good stuff. We can start using his uh, his faction-wide abilities. Congratulations, Kong Rong. Yeah, yeah. Can we get... um? What's, oh, uh, what's the opposite of F? <laughs> yeah, I think we should get a little... Um, congratulations, Kong. Congratulations to Kong Gong. It's a baby Gong. <laughs> ah, the magic of life. Should we do a night battle, guys? Let's do it. To celebrate. A little celebratory night battle. Oh, but do I have to do it again for the battle? Oh, I just you do have to do it again for the battle. We shall be carried along by a wave of victory. Together, sworn friend, we is will the achieve go is the our gong victory. An yeah. Be mindful. <laughs> Percussion. Do not underestimate I want to learn to play the gong. That's my. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you already have, man. You such seem, a, seem like a bit of a master. Such a beautiful instrument. <laughs> also, I've just noticed that the, the green screen's I a little, uh, little choppy no, on the corners there. Must uh, that's genuinely you. probably my fault because I always walk into the light. <laughs> you the literally do. Every single stream we do. <laughs> oh, Press the button. I shall. Eh? No. I must crush you. He's realizing this is the end of his faction if he loses his battle. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's got that beautiful blue hue that we saw for the Gamescom battle. There's the, oh, the stars and the moon just poking through the clouds up there. Oh, this and is the beautiful. music now. Oh. Got the lanterns ready to roll. Oh, this is looking gorgeous. Right. This is where we get the full effect of the... Uh, oh, I think we've... Lanterns rising in the sky as well. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay. All right, it's time for to win this one, I think. Yeah, so let's. This looks like the path of least resistance here. As I said, we've got the uh, the ranged advantage here, so. <laughs> uh, the Farage Barrage says Kong D is short for Diddy Kong. <laughs> I like that. Not sure I agree with that, but that's. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go for the flammable Kong, round okay. there. And someone wanted me to destroy loads of their territory. They've got. It looks like this is because it's like a mining town. They've got like uh, a couple of bits of construction workers going on here. It's always interesting to go in and just like look at this is how they live their lives kind of thing. Uh, Beautiful. By the way, true story, Wheels did try to get the Kong Rom Dom uh, put into the game as an, as an ancillary. <laughs> uh, 
Maybe patch one. Yeah, hey, uh, we'll try and get them to, to do it. They were they were keen. They were like, we do like the idea, but there's probably more important things to do. I think he was probably just humouring you, but <laughs> there's a chance. He was well up for it. Right, we're going to split into a few different uh, forces here. Actually, do you know what? We'll send those both in there. And we've got a cab over here as well. You can just come in from the other side. Um, so you're going to overload them. School dudification says, Kong D, putting the right characters can mean empty uh, Empty Ooh. Uh. Ooh. wonder what that says about young Diddy Kong. Do you know what's interesting, actually? <laughs> um, he's an Earth character. Oh, no, he's not. He's a wood character. Ah, ah you ruined it. Ah, that would have been so cool. No, oh, I'm sorry. Well, it is an empty Earth. Take heed, which also doesn't it's make true. sense. <laughs> empty of Earth, because he is not an Earth character. Daddy Kong and Diddy Kong. Chinese voice is coming, lads. You had... You have my word. Stand ready. You have my bow. Prepare. And my axe. Right, we ready? Let's do this. <laughs> this is where our flaming projectiles are going to look amazing now. Oh, they've got a decent amount of forces here, actually. Funny. Good thing we've got these trebuchets. <laughs> and yeah, we can't put the Kong Rong Long Bong into the game. But maybe, yeah. maybe someone will mod it. Might be a, a little ESRB issue there. <laughs> That's important, though. Someone mod that in. I'm doing the, the, the cross shot here. Boom. Oof. Oh, that, that was a direct hit. Is that the reduced oh. radius that, that we so crave, though, Wheels? That, w that was worth getting these uh, bugs in this untested build? They're clumping up, man. They're clumping <laughs> up. This, 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 uh, this siege would have been over a lot quicker if we'd uh, not fetched that build. Mm. Oh. These are militia Look, units as well, the so they are really right. feeling the, uh, the morale here. A little bit of burning there, we set fire to that tree at the front. Can you man the aim of trebuchet? I don't think so. I've seen, anyway. Um, someone said... Oh, sorry, I'm running out of breath. Our officer is going to be free roaming if their factors are included in the game. Uh, I'm not sure about the exact example you've got there, but yes, uh, um, there are. you can have free agents and they will end up in recruitment pools for different faction leaders depending on... Uh, geographical factors and how much they agree with their traits, things like that. Oh, interesting. They're sallying out. Okay. I think they've seen that they're not going to win this uh, <laughs> in a ranged fight because of my traps. Uh, okay, that's where the cabs come in. I'm just going to swoop into the site here. Can you do a manual aim on the tribute from traps? Our no, I already answered that. Attack. I don't think we can. Sorry. Sometimes, yeah, day. Sometimes I'm just reading and just loving the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Asking for a jewel here. Lee can up against Wang Chu. I'm going to say no. <laughs> right, I'm actually going to have to peel these guys out of their shield walls to just protect against these, uh, these cav. To be honest, mate, this was looking a lot better before they started selling out. Ah. <laughs> it's funny as well, because someone, someone was saying, oh, yeah, AI yeah, just only knows how to hold choke points. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> Literally, as soon as, uh, as soon as the fight started. Can you propose a duel with your good ah. 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that's not good. Maybe we shouldn't have split up, lads. Maybe we shouldn't have split up. Look! The enemy Oof. run! They're just taking huge damage there from charging into the spears. Propose a duel with the champion. Ready? Well, these guys are, are wrecking this champion at the moment. Ah, it's the heat. Ah, Do you know what? Right. I'm going to pull these around to the side just to go up this way to it here because that's a bit of an issue. These Raider Cavalry are actually pretty strong. I've got Kong Rong nearby, just stopping this guy uh, popping his abilities as well. Yeah. Got that ranged unit just free firing. Uh, bam, there it is. Get targeted down. And they're dead. Huge amounts of damage there from these. Uh, Our victory grows ever closer. Unique crossbow units. That's so good. Swoop our cavalry in now. Just as they're all trying to run away, trying to regain their strength. What's that? It's the cavalry. To be honest, I might grab these guys and go to that one instead of split up. Still getting shot to bits by those uh, by those crossbows as well. Now everyone's uh, routed on the cav side. We can start just chasing down these boys. Unfortunately, actually, do you know what? In that case, let's grab you and let's start coming back to attack these mounts over militia because they're really annoying, to be honest. Um, my champion the is just chasing off people over running. here. Ha! I can tell them to do that, but that kind of works for me because he's literally um, shattered that unit over there. And then we've got multiple ranks of demolisher here waiting to 
field off these guys here. Get the surround on. Here they come into the side. Easy peasy, nice. It's fine. We had the weight of numbers. That's what mattered in the end. These trebuchets have now been freed up as well, which means we can just start firing in on any loose. Uh, to be honest, there's no there's no real targets here. They've all been completely the shattered. The enemy warriors are running. <laughs> bring you back, run, mate. Run. The bongos are out. <laughs> yeah, get the bongos <laughs> out. The Kong Rong bongos. Ah, he's done it. Huge. Do you know what? Crossbow seeing as that ready. was. Um, Seeing as that was such a, a fantastic victory, let's just end on this nice shot of my crossbow firing into it. I don't know if we're actually in range of anyone. So, no, we'll do trebuchets instead. There we go. Oh. One, big more, one more big volley before we end it. One more big volley. Are they coming? Yes. I'll give you shots. There he is. Oh. Oh, shots get out of the tree. Bam. Oh. Oh. See you later. <laughs> Bam. He's busy. Well played, victory. Well played. I mean, it was in your favor, but still good. So, um, one question that you asked mm -hmm. that um, I was too busy concentrating to yeah, actually yeah. chime in on, but um, you were saying that someone in chat asked if there is a special character in the game who isn't like part of a faction at the start mm. of the game, are they a free agent? So. Um, a lot of the characters that have that kind of setup where they're in the game but they only appear at certain times, mm. they'll actually have special events that will affect certain factions. Mm. Um, so, for example, Zhu Liang mm -hmm. doesn't start the, the game underneath anyone, but eventually Liu Bei will have the, the event to try and get him into his roster. Mm. Zhou Yun as well will appear... Um, no, sorry. Is it, is it Zhou Yu? Zhao Yun. Zhao yes. Yun, sorry. Um, in the Wu faction, will appear eventually for um, he's friends with Sensor. So you'll you'll get things like that where characters will, will come up. Yeah. This location suits our plans. Gao Gan. By the destroyed. way, people are pointing out the name you're trying to remember. Zhou Yu. Yeah. Thank you. I and thought it. I thought I'd gotten it wrong the first time, but yeah, I got there in the end. Okay. So we've already got night battles, and I think that's from um, one of his ancillaries. But. That would also give us um, fire arrows on... Although we're using crossbows, aren't we? Yeah, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. We could grab his Inspiring Surge passive buff. Minus two uh, seconds, decrease cooldown of abilities for all but of his friendly units. You never remember to use your abilities anyway. Whoa, now. <laughs> Income from industry or the ministry, that's not great. Ignore forest penalties is always nice. Now that, increased rate of wall and settlement damage during sieges when commanding. Oh, that sounds like a wheels thing. That sounds like a wheels skill. Oh, look I'm, how happy Kong Rong Look at him. He's buzzed. He's ranked seven now. He's a big boy. <laughs> he is absolutely buzzing right now. Um, Wang Chi is also leveled up. He's got the old Marshall G going on. Shall we get... Which one? Actually... Range block chance for melee cavalry would be pretty handy for these guys because they do get shot quite a lot from the distance before they can do a lot of their uh, mm. a lot of their killing. So that might be a, a good shout. Ah, oh, I'm so excited to tell the devs about all the bugs that we've walked into in this build. <laughs> well, most of the time it's already uh, like bugged in the system, mm. um, or it's just a really easy fix. But because it hasn't been tested. Uh, these things pop up, which is why I said to Wales, do you still build with the cap, with the cool catapult explosions, <laughs> which was a bug. It's just because everyone was mentioning it, and I was like, oh, we don't want right. to, you know, we don't want to look like we're, we're cheating or anything. Yourself, man. It's fine. Okay, just listen to me more often, that's all. I don't know if I'm going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, right. Um, so, can you... At what stage can you see target. what like traits and, and that that Diddy Kong has? I don't think we'll be able to see it until he becomes like a We can see that he's old. a champion. He's a zero-year-old boy right <laughs> now, and he's in the Kong Rong faction. That's what you can um, see. Okay. Are you making that? So yeah, I mean, he should be my heir anyway. He's the firstborn, so that's the done thing. Bam, he's my heir. Now he's got a gold baby. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, we can click the babies, Oxu-90. I know, right? Um, 
So that's one bug we don't have to worry about. <laughs> people, uh, I think some people weren't watching earlier when we when we nicknamed him Diddy Cogs. <laughs> <laughs> so they're just like, very what Diddy Cogs in this game? <laughs> <laughs> he's a legendary character. Um, he's an Earth character. <laughs> okay. No, you can't change the names of items. All right. I, yeah, <laughs> someone's someone saying that that baby will probably kick ass as a champion. It will duel other babies to show you as a top baby. <laughs> the best of the babies. Uh, Total I war. do not want to. Baby warfare. No matter. Baby. <laughs> All right. And Empire's still getting strong. Now they want Han Fu in the coalition, just as I was trying to kill him off. I mean, I'm still rejecting, guys. I just, we I can't. It, then. Oh, there we go. I can't be a part of that, I'm afraid. I have to kill him. Ooh. We've got a dilemma and we have our mouse, oh, so it's all good. So it's not um, one that happens every time, that's great. Yeah, so um, we have to choose between fraternity or loyalty. Do you have loyalty to your kin mm. or to your state? For me, it's all about fraternity. Yeah? Mm. I mean, it's because we're, we're the boys. That's why, yeah, isn't yeah. it? We are the that's boys. True, it's true. All right, I mean, let's go for. Let's we go for we won't though. tell the bosses. But. It will increase <laughs> our um, relationship between Kong Rong and Taisha So, though, which that is a nice one. I'm just gonna grab that because that's way more important. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm glad to know oh, about. Oh, so it your... was between your wife, actually. Yeah, it was bros before hoes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh god. Um, Liu Wei Huang, Ni Tran, and Yang He all offering their services. We've also got. Um, our trade port is just upgraded as well. We're getting, yeah, a decent amount of cash here. A true scholar, says Vladdy Tips there. Level 4 here. So we need to get the next tech to be able to upgrade this any further. So if we click on it, then we'll actually be shown it. So it's, um, oh wow, it's Ooh. the Onyx Dragon tech. That's pretty, pretty important, actually. We've already got the Sino Roman MC. Mm. But we need to get Merton to our regulation, currency based economy. Diplomatic missions. All of them before we can get there. Currency based economy, in income from commerce, isn't a bad shout, but we can't get it if we don't have to do turns, so there we go. Um some someone asking to upgrade our towns here. Tai Shan. <laughs> yeah, let's upgrade our towns. Lubu with the all caps. <laughs> it does I don't want to say it, but it does like when Wheels is just glancing over, it's easy for him to see those ones. <laughs> No, it's not even just the all caps. It's the fact that he keeps it very short as well. Yeah, it's just succinct. He knows exactly <laughs> what he wants. He's still... I'm sorry, I'm Remember it Huang Shao? Is that like... <laughs> is that like a remember reach? Or is that like <laughs> you haven't done this thing? Um, so, just to fill you all in on what my uh, my next master plan is. Yeah, thank you. That Jiang Yan here. Question. Jiang Yan making waves, mm. trying to push into the rest of the factions. I think... Um, I think we may have seen um, Zheng Jian actually felled here because I can't see any of her yeah. territory. Well, they, you do have a lot of... You haven't really explored. Yeah, but like this is where she starts. This is the natural place for us to explore. By the way, do you know why that's deserted? Is that um, to do with... It, it might be because it was a level one and then I think the bandits have a thing where if their infamy is too low, yeah. they have to um, sack and occupy. They can't do a standard mm. occupy. Okay, because it, it it reduces their infamy if they if they go around peacefully occupying places. Yeah. So, this I think we want to go to war with this guy. Someone's asking if there will be a list of legendary characters before launch. Well, I believe I don't know where the best place is. Maybe TotalWar.com. We got posters. To be fair, if you go on the if you go on the Facebook page, <laughs> if there's a poster for them, they're in the game. So there yeah. you go. We made a lot of posters. We damn did. All right. This guy's a moderate threat. Apparently. His strength compared to mine is superior, but his allied strength is inferior. I wonder if we could saber rattle him. That would drop our trustworthy uh, rank a little bit, though. Does anyone want to trade yet, by the way? Okay, okay. Xinjiang, hello. 702 trade value. Yes, Xinjiang is so good what is at on the, table the today? Han Empire. Oh, God, yeah, because he's got so much of this territory, isn't he? Yeah. What's up, my boy? Let's just get so much cash monies. <laughs> uh, let's just uh, request more regular payments as well. By the way, Everyone? only 15 minutes remaining. If you wanted to start building towards the really? part two cliffhanger oh finale. Oh my god. Okay. 
That's fine. Well, cliffhanger. Will we be able to recruit an army next time? Um, oh, God. There's, yeah, there's more, isn't there? You're in shout. No, we don't want to trade recruit. Fat loser. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not talking to you. Thanks. There's someone else. <laughs> <laughs> ask, is this game moddable? Uh, I believe it will be, yes. More details to come. Yeah, all of our previous ones have been, so it's safe to assume, I think, is a, is a good good way of putting it. Uh, let's... All right, let's 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 leave it on a cliffhanger, then. Are we ready? I'm going to do something dumb so that we have to fix it next turn. <laughs> I like that, mate. It's, it's for the for the vines. It's for the memes. Shot Fury. What up? Um, Nettle Commander wants a list rather than posters. We outwit it then. <laughs> uh, I think there will be some kind of. I'm sure we'll do that at some point. Some kind of blog about. post Let which actually lists everything out. Um, if boom. Yeah, we'll see. All right, there we go. Here's our next thing that we have to deal with. <laughs> I've taken head on uh, cough of mine. I'm assuming that they must have some kind of army out there. So I will it I will start getting Kong Rong to start defense. moving back home. Strong Kong Rong takes head on. <laughs> nice one. Um, we've also got a level four Zheng Yan now. Uh, oh, we can't give him a new horse. I really want to give him a new horse. Should we give him some new armor? Oh, go for it, man. Go shopping spree. Go to the mall. Ooh, there he is. <laughs> Um, but we can also upgrade him. Oh, 900% charge resistance if we give him this. And that's a 50 meter range. Mm. Passive buff. That's huge. I'm going to grab that. That's an awesome skill. So he's and really good at holding the line, which I guess he's the spear infantry guy. Yeah, so that he's is gonna... his specialty. Exactly. Uh, yeah, let's upgrade our, uh, our little fishery over here as well. Oh, we're really making waves here, guys. Let's end the turn and see it all uh, break away as... Uh, as Jang Yang comes and murders, murders us all. So be it. So be it. Le Vu. Be is, oh, I was just talking about him, and there he was. Oh, by the way, someone wants you to uh, go to war with the Han Empire soon, so you can reclaim the bow. <laughs> <laughs> I am up. at war with them. I just don't think we're. Um, I don't think we're sharing any borders. So this is quite interesting. Le Bu, even though not even that strong. And this is this is a tactic that I think he's borrowed from Dong Duo because this is I always got this from Dong Duo asking if I wanted to become his vassal. Yeah. So everybody's like, I'll give you a guarantee of autonomy if you become my vassal. Give me some food every turn and give me your discourse of the states, and then we'll go to peace. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, he tried. I'm interested to see how much that's worth him. Only five for me to become their vassal. Um. By the mm. way, so I think someone spotted Zhang Jack. Oh really? Yeah. Where Someone is she? said they. I don't. Doesn't say where. I just looked outside, saw the post-it note that says we're live, saw the whiteboard, and I thought someone had left us a, a secret message. Ah, oh, I wish they had. <laughs> that would have been amazing. Uh, you c you could marry marry Zhang Zhang, joining your factions in matrimony. Yeah. It's possible. Oh, there's a little bit of Han Empire problems there. Right, let's move you up now. Now, question is, do I go... I think I want to go north, because I think Hedong is probably... Because they've got Shangdang in the middle. To the grand design. It's probably where they're going to struggle to take us down the most. Um, we have got a slight issue with our uh, public order. Because of the faction support. That is going to tick up over time. Hmm. Um, but hopefully that will fix itself. Peace. Let's repair some of these damaged buildings as well, which will help. Uh, so what I might do is, in Hedong, let's... We don't own the capital, so I can't go on assignment. Damn. For China. We do own the capital of Shangdang. So I'm wondering if we've got a, a public order uh, assignment that we could send someone on. We could send my wife off to get plus 50% trade influence. I think that's probably a, a good shout. It's pretty nice. There is a maintenance cost. Um, What's going to help with your public order? I don't think anything here is going to help with public order, unfortunately. <laughs> We need a uh, need a commander for that, I think. Yeah, let's send uh, Jungping Shan off to do exploit some black markets, shall we? Oh, fantastic. Um, we still got. Did we send someone off on the education program? I think we did. Didn't we? Or in Taishan. Yeah, nice. Sweet, this is looking pretty good, man. Well, we've definitely uh, we've definitely done the old tool not wise option. Yeah. We've got quite a lot of cash coming in. You came back from your uh, your losses in battle. You out-strategized. Need some food now. 
the rest of these fools. I'm glad that chat was finally willing for me to take a peace deal. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. Usually they're yeah. like, peace, no. Yeah, yeah, is it just me or has chat become more reasonable? Yeah, <laughs> I, I think they've, uh, they've gained, some, gained some good sense here. <laughs> yeah, let's just upgrade all of our farm buildings. We could just rake in loads of, uh, loads of food. Um, Lysander wants to know how can you confederate with other factions? I think it's it's it is you need to be, reach a certain rank before you're allowed to uh, do it yeah. uh, because we're only second marquee. Ah, oh, he's already capitulating. Ooh. He's asking for his territory back now. I'm not going to give it to him. A slight not to be forgotten. I Ooh. think he's overexpanded. That's that's why I wanted to go after yeah. him. Smart. Daniel triple nine two three four saying we care about Kong Rong. <laughs> We do care. <laughs> <laughs> Promise, sir. <laughs> All right. Time has established a new capital. We've got our uh, upgrades being built. Okay. For harmony. Let's pop you into. Brother or I would meet with my advisors. I think it's, you know, the bug that we're getting with um, not being able to recruit. Mm. I think it's linked to uh, Force March because it, it happened as soon as I put Kong Rong into Force March. Okay. Well, we won't be marching. Or forcing a march anyway. Well, we've already done it now, so. <laughs> um, so, Shang Dang. Nice large town there. I don't want to upgrade it just yet because I'm still waiting on a couple of my um, food buildings to increase. But uh, once Kong Rong has finished um, replenishing his boys. Actually, I'll tell you what I'll do. Um, no, 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 no. I'm not going to be stupid. I always do that. Red Celerity says if you played a faction and married another faction leader, who would be the new faction leader? Well, it's like Confederation. Right? Yeah, it depends who does the deal. So if you um, if you're playing as Zheng Jiang and then you offer it to someone else, you can have them join you and it's still the stronger still remain. faction. Um, well, it's just it's just who. Oh, I'll show it to. But you. yeah, but you're not going to accept it unless you're the stronger. Yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, true, true, true. So, um, so just, just grab anyone here. So join our faction through marriage or join their faction through marriage. And of course, if you select that option, yeah. it will end your campaign. But I guess that option is there for the for the AI as exactly, well. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So they, they can do that as a sort of survival instinct. <sighs> St. Jan wants to uh, have us as a bastard as well. There okay. is cunning in caution. So what um what, what should we get? Should we start moving towards those Onyx Dragons? I think you have to at this point because it would be great to get those for part 3 or eventually in part 3. Character salary minus 10% would be pretty good as well though. We've also got to get... I mean, we need to get this one anyway, so I'm going to grab that because that's plus 10% income from commerce, which... Oh, we're just raking it in here. If we open up the, uh, if we open up the treasury there, yeah, I think I think something is bugged out because it's it's reverting us back. Mm. Oh, we really shouldn't have played on this build, should we? No, well, I'm sorry, man. I just feel great because I was right. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that matters, isn't it? <laughs> um, okay, I. What? What? When did that happen? Wait, what? What happened? Why are we at war with Kong Suzanne? Uh. Can somebody, can somebody tell me what just happened? When did that happen? I don't remember that happening. Huh. Uh, hey, he's not bordering you though, is he? I No, but I think I may have missed a notification there. You know when you just click through and yeah, you're like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He declared war on you. Seriously. Oh, God. Oh, 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 God, no. Oh, lol. I can't believe you've done this. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, that I mean he could have been allied with um, uh, the bandit man. That could have been it. Oh, because they start quite near each other. Yeah, that's not good shout. Mm. Uh, whoever yeah, that's not a bad shout. Let me just check that. Thank you, Feast of Crows. Could I split my army to bypass the village? Possibly. But then it's it's a recruitment battle, right? So I just have I just have two smaller armies. Okay. Oh, seeing a few nice comments about the game. And some horrible ones too. Oh good omen. <laughs> Plus ten public order. That's exactly what I needed right now. Fantastic. Should we, should we see why that is? Uh, it's the Duran Wu Festival. It's a momentous day. Drinks are proudly um, proudly poured freely. <laughs> and the smell of food fills the air as you celebrate the honor of Chu Yuran. The teams pull their dragon boats through the river with much clamor and cheering from the banks. 
by a truly breathtakingly slim margin, your team rose to victory. It's a good omen. Glory is yours. So what's the good omen going to do? Uh, it's going to give us public order. Oh, it's really nice. Just what you needed. So it's the it's like the Cambridge Oxford boat race. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I'm sure in ancient China. <laughs> Predated it. A bit. Yeah, I was gonna say. Like, I'm just trying to, you know, just trying to make it make sense in my head. My but uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. You, you reasoned out. Right. I want to take this iron mine next. Blue Fair Flair reckons there's an army at sea heading for your home provinces. There is. Yeah. Um. He's moving up towards Liu Bay. There's not a whole lot we can do about it because of the old uh, raise army bug. So, <laughs> kind of just ignoring it, hoping it will go away at this point. But we've only got five minutes left anyway. Yeah. Hopefully we can get that fixed for next time. Um, and flexible. did you wait? Did you confirm that they are mates? Uh, oh yeah, I was going to check. Was nice. Let's have a look. So Gongsun Zan. So Gongsun Zan. Trading and allies with Jiang Yan. That'll be it. That'll be it. <laughs> that explains it. Seems like something you should check before you go to war with someone. But well, hey. you know how um, you know how I said. Oh well, let's just do something stupid because that'll give us a nice. Yeah, you did say that. Yeah. Probably. Well, there you go. There's your stupid thing that gave us a cliffhanger. So uh, that's all fine, I imagine. Right. These guys will be fully. Oh, it's going to take a while to replenish. We've got really, really. We haven't got really great support here, which is making us struggle to replenish our, uh, our forces. We're just going to do one last end turn and then we'll start moving up. Can you divorce? Yes, you can. You can divorce your uh, your characters. Still As wanting a, to get happy. We There's a very this. intense conversation you about would not uh, need fear us. debate, in fact, between different types of armor and the pros and cons. So, uh, oh wow, I'm not going <laughs> to delve into that. <laughs> Jang Chao wants a non-aggression pact, and they'll pay me for it. So if you run out of army supplies, you're going to start taking attrition. You're going to start hemorrhaging blokes. They can't be fed. They're going to run away. They're not going to fight you. You can't even feed them. Mm. Anything else? What What was the thing you were talking about? Sorry. Low oh, supplies. God. Oh, God. They're really coming for us. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh God, Lord. Oh God. <laughs> okay. Let's rush the iron mine. Finish off with a bang. Strike now. Oh, nice. I can see why they want a peace. They've not defended this Careful new territory that they've taken. I'm going to send a quick look at Streamlabs and uh, answer any questions that have been asked Ooh. in this. We've got a treasure. One of your generals sent a runner from the new settlement, reportedly carrying a valuable consignment. He is immediately brought before your throne, kneeling to present you with a lavishly decorated chest of a broken lock. You open it to reveal the most valuable item within. It's a person! <laughs> <laughs> Thank oh. you. I've been locked in here for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are the nice. Um, this is going to unlock an officer. Gives us a new assignment, military requisition. Also gives us the hollowed square and circle formations. That's pretty cool. So not very useful for Kong Rong because his army already has them. But that's pretty nice. Have you not been looking at Streamlabs for this entire stream? No, man. No way. Oh, bring back Tom, I say. <laughs> I was just enjoying the YouTube and, and Twitch dynamics so much. Do you reckon we can fire through these really quickly? Some of them um, we won't be able to answer, of course. Okay, I can do that top one. Yeah. What does support vassal independence do? Yeah. So basically, you offer to declare war on this vassal's master, provided that they too declare war on their soon-to-be former masters. So essentially... Um, if one of the vassals around the world wants to declare independence, you will give them this, the, your support. So as soon as they declare war on their master, mm -hmm. you will then automatically join them. You can use that as a bargaining chip, essentially. Mm -hmm. Or you can use it... <laughs> Tom Hawkins 5. Yeah, you should bring that, Tom. <laughs> um, so uh, you can use that as a bargaining chip to try and... Um, either to incite a war between two people, mm -hmm. or just show them your support so you can sort of bleed some gold out of them, that kind of thing. Nice. Uh, I can answer this next one. Uh, the next uh, Let's Play, well, it's not technically a Let's Play, but on the YouTube channel, we're likely to have some content. It's going to be more campaign focused. Mm -hmm. Maybe talk a little bit more about um, what can happen later into the campaign. Yeah, some of the later stages. So. I'll leave it at that so there's a bit more mystery. Uh, right, so, this. so they're coming over happen. all this way to kill us, which isn't great. So that's probably got what we're going to have to deal with next turn. Um, Livestock form has an okay garrison, but it's still trying to uh, Not trying to form itself. Could we piece them out? Doesn't really want it. God. Yellow turbans. Yes, they will be playable at launch. 
um, early adopter bonus. So if you buy it within the first week, yeah, if you buy wanna, the game. If you want to wait for the reviews, wait yep, for the YouTube to get their hands on see it. See what your favorite influencer has to say. You can still get that little bonus without having to pay for it. We could try and bribe them with my big axe. <laughs> That's half of the way there. Now we just need to convince them of the uh, balance of power shifts. Uh, Sorry, I'm just not ready to talk about blood stuff yet. I just don't know. Otherwise, that one's easy. When will you talk about in-game Chinese voices? Um, it's coming soon, either the next or the stream after. The reason, yeah. as we said, the reason um, we're avoiding it is because there's a known issue with like a few of the lines where they're coming out French, which I think is quite funny, but also, you know, one, it's nice to be sensitive. Two, it's it's always good to make sure that things are ready. Yeah, yeah. Them, you know? The devs always, obviously, this is their baby, so they want it Wisdom to, they don't want it to come out all wrong and misrepresent what the game is. Ruin all their hard work. They don't want the baby to come out all wrong. <laughs> 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 That's a nice image, Mido. <laughs> and on that bombshell. Yeah, all right. Well, there we go. So let's uh, let's look at the state of the play as we're leaving off. So yeah. an enemy force has snuck into our hometown, going after Beihai to try and take it down. Bloody Zerong. I, I only accepted that war with um, Telsa because he just gave me a lump sum of cash. But he was like... Well, I can't win against Cell Cell, so I'll just go after uh, those guys as well. Speaking of Cell Cell, look at the absolute unit he's become. He's spread down into the Southlands. He's coming for you, bro. He's taking loads of this uh, of this uh, uninhabited territory. Sun Jian looking pretty hench as well. Quite a lot of territories to himself. It's all forming up here, you can see. Uh, Liu Bei has been stifled a bit in his movements because he's got so many friends around him. He doesn't really have much territory to move into. Mm -hmm. Um... But yeah, my God, he's really trying to carve this like, carve this path through the mountains to try and take all of that territory. Um, but I imagine that's going to give him quite a lot of cash. All of those uh, nice, easy to take provinces. Um, Lebu over there, still looking um, relatively safe. He hasn't got many enemies around him. But as far as we're concerned, we've got Jiang Yan, who's got all of this territory around us that we're trying to move into. Gong Sun Zan has also joined him as a military ally. Possibly a coalition, not sure. Um, and then we've also got the old uh, sneaky army coming in the back to deal with. So join us next week where we try to make this all work. <laughs> and we'll see what happens. Um, uh, I have been Wheels. This has been Guy. Thank you yeah. very much for joining us. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this. It was a little bit more of a chill one, probably showing a little bit more empire building than anything. Mm -hmm. um, probably because we had to peace out at the end. Uh, hopefully we'll... we'll either revert to the old build or fix a few of those bugs that we saw pop up. But apart from that, thank you very much for watching. Yeah, we'll see you soon. You. Thank you, chat. Thanks. Sorry if we didn't get to your question. Thank you for being actually pretty nice and reasonable. It's been a good stream. Peace out. See you soon. And remember, see you soon.